Show starts in five minutes. Now it isn't even there long enough to get warm. <laughs> There's one bargain left in town. Campbell Soups. Try chicken with rice. Best parts of the chicken, fluffy rice, and two chicken stocks for extra flavor. About six cents a seven-ounce serving. Sit right down and get your Campbell's worth. Mm. Show starts in four minutes. <laughs> this drive-in theater is radioactive. Now you can hear tonight's show on your AM car radio. Turn your ignition key to the accessory position. This will not drain your car battery. Now turn on your radio and zero in on the following AM station. Best popcorn in town is Manley's High Pop. In regular or jumbo cartons, here's why. Take the tastiest, tenderest, scientifically grown popcorn, add pure, delicious seasoning and specially prepared salt. Then let the famous Manly machine work its magic on Manly popcorn, America's favorite popcorn. Crisp, savory, wonderful. Visit our concession stand now for Manly's High Pop. Show starts in three minutes. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Gotta be careful not to fall off here. Whoa! It seems we've been teleported to another location. Oh, no shit, dude! Take <laughs> oh, no, am I gonna die? Oh, I got a, I got a ring! I got a ring! Dude, he's juggling me! What the fuck? It's no <laughs> Bullshit, dude! Literally unavoidable. Man, the jumping mechanics are so weird. Uh, that's... What? 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sick. Sick grind, Sonic. There's no doubt in my mind. Why can't I see Shadow's reflection in Rouge's boobs? Find. Show starts in two minutes. We're happy to announce that we've installed burns o in-car heaters for your comfort and pleasure. When you receive your heater, you'll find it very easy to place in your car. Just roll down your front window and rest the heater's bracket on the window with the cylinder on the outside of the car. Roll up your window securely as far as it will go to hold the heater firmly in position. For maximum results, tilt the face of the heater towards the windshield and sit back and enjoy the show in healthful comfort. With these modern, safe, efficient in-car heaters, this drive-in theater will now remain open all year round. If you have any further questions about your burns o in-car heater, please contact one of our theater attendants. And remember, this drive-in theater will now remain open all year round, regardless of the weather. Show starts in one minute. Yes, toddy, the chocolate malt in a can. It's so good hot. It's so good cold. It hits the spot with young and old. Yes, toddy pleases everybody. Delicious chocolate malted toddy made with rich, yum, real milk, yum. not powdered milk. So come and get it, everybody. It's time to drink your chocolate toddy. They're at the movies. It's a big date. They love their popcorn. Look what they ate. This kind of action is the main attraction. Oh, boy, ain't love grand. Now, 
ladies and gentlemen, time for the show. Once again, thank you for coming to our theater tonight. Have an enjoyable evening. The refreshment stand will remain open for a short time. Still plenty of time to get a snack or cold drink. We'll make an announcement before the stand closes to give you plenty of time to get that last minute treat. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. It's time for more bingo. Good, uh, good noon time. Noon time. It's not quite morning. I missed morning. Well, still a minute for the morning. Good morning, everyone. Are you guys ready for more bingo? Let's, uh, let's just, let's kick it off. Let's get going. Let's get going. Let's review the rules real quick. For anyone here who is new, we are going to start a brand new bingo loop by drawing a number. We will mark some cards, possibly win some prizes, and then play a select game for 15-minute chunks. We will vote player pass uh, before we, you know, start the whole thing all over again. Before we, before we pull a number... Let's uh, let's see where we left things yesterday. Uh, this season, we're doing Ian versus mm, Chad. Uh, and if you see, it might be hard to tell, uh, but if you look close, you'll notice that I am doing uh, much better. I'm doing much, much better. A lot better, uh, one would say. Don't look at your bingo card. <laughs> Cocky little freak. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. So... Uh, these two large cards uh, will trigger the end of the season once a bingo is made. And we will decide what our next full playthrough series is. It will either be a game that I have selected or a game that chat voted on on the lead up. Yeah, we're just doing one bingo this time. Only one bingo. Okay. All right. I'm ready to pull a number. I'm ready to play a game. Oh, right. I gotta do this. I have not fixed the Howie drawing, no. No, not yet. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need some time to do that. I gotta I gotta I have a lot, a lot on my plate still. Uh in 42. Ooh. How am I gonna do this? Still haven't figured out the uh Lighting the the drawn balls situation in 42. Yes. Yes. There we go. In 42. Is Riven behind the, the ball dispenser foreshadowing? Not really. I just picked it because I really like Riven. Um, in 42. 42, 42, where's, okay, it's on the large sub drop. I think that's the only one. You guys see any, any other ones? Uh, let's do, let's break out the piss yellow. I, I, I people were upset that I uh, blotted over the piss yellow last time. So I'll, I'll uh, throw you guys a bone here. See, that's I still just don't think it's very visible. <laughs> I just don't I mean here, I'm gonna really really get in there with it. There we go. Can you guys see that? Totally visible? Okay. I don't think it looks great, but I'll uh you know I'll go I'll go with what you guys want for this. Okay, so we gotta, this is, these are all the, the ones that we've had so far. We're on game like 12 or something at this point. Still a lot of bingo to be had. The, <laughs> the yellow is ruined now. Mm, what a hamburger. All right, let's see, let's see what game we're gonna play. Hold on, I'm a little tangled. Hold 
second. One second. I noticed that the doors, <laughs> the doors in the win the winners lounge were open. That's not good. I had to uh, fix some lights in it this morning. Okay. In 42. You guys have good dreams of Howie last night? Dig in the Karamas. I've got a number of Karamas uh, around the office. Mm, oh, fuck delicious. You. This is going to be a rough start, guys. This is going to be a rough start. Um, Disney's You Can Fly with Tinkerbell. Ooh, everybody, you know, everyone's always trying to get me to play Disney's You Can Fly with Tinkerbell. It's crazy how often this game is requested. Oh, wow. <laughs> you had dreams of my veiny eyes. Well, that's... That's odd. <laughs> I love flying with Tinkerbell. Well, you guys know me. Uh, Amex Wolf, thank you for the $4 and change. Uh, Cracks Knuckles, I'm here to chew gum and hunt some Hootie Who, and I'm all out of Hootie Who. Is this going to be another, uh, this is what we're doing today? Thank you so much, Amex. CJ Coma, thank you for the $2 and change. I found the Hootie. I don't think so. Your balls are forfeit. Thank you for the three dollars and change. Hootie who? Nope. Uh, OMG, stop chewing so loud. Thank you. Oh, wow. For the five dollars and change, just some hootie hunting. Feeling like crap today, so happy to watch some bingo to help feel better. Oh wait, hold on. We've got. Hold on. We've got installation music. Exact number? I have to say the exact number? They know how much they donated. They're the ones that donated it. It's important for the hunt. I don't... Here. Here's the thing, though. I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care. Um, Blackbird6361, thank you for the $3 and change. Hootie, maybe. Have fun with Bingo, Ian. Thank you so much, Blackbird. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> listen, listen. I'm here to play Bingo, all right? All right, you guys can you guys can hunt your hooties or whatever you're doing. I'm, I'm here to play some Bingo. What up, Jesse? <laughs> yeah, fuck you giving me money. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well today. I'm going to chug some G Fuel. I need a, a, a little bit of G Fuel. I was out in the yard yesterday. Corn dogs. And I'm, uh, I'm sore and tired. <laughs> you guys hear this installation music? You want it louder? Mighty Owl 86, thank you for the 23 months. Lemon Lori, thank you for the 34 months. What connection speed? Sure, what the fuck? I don't care. No. Clorkman, thank you for the two months. Okay, here we go. Oh, I need the timer. Hold on. Hold on. Let me. I'm, tasty French fries go with everything. Chuck some G fuel just real quick. <laughs> Your coworker asked what weird ass shit music you're listening to. You want to turn it up for the coworker? Our tempting tasty French fries go with everything. Do I dip my fries in G fuel? No. That sounds... No. Don't ask me that. Don't ask me that question. 
Yum, yum. Are we starting, or...? Hello? Tinkerbell! Mm -hmm. Oh, hold on, I gotta change the resolution. You can fly, you can fly. Corn dogs. Well, hello there, and welcome to the nursery. To sign into this game, first please choose an empty frame. To sign into this game, first please choose an empty frame. Yum, yum. Okay, okay, we're good. Oh my god, is she 3D? Are her hands okay? This one's okay. What is my... Oh, is it a quill? Now choose a background. Uh, background. I'll go with a skull. A spooky cave. I mean the spooky cave. Please choose a character for your painting. Everything. Um... Let's go with Captain Hook. Captain Hook. He's pretty cool. He's like the cool guy Please of the movie. Difficulty. What do you what do you guys think? Think I should do one block, two blocks, or three blocks? Hard. 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 Terrific. Now click on the clock to go outside into the garden and learn how to play this game. A lot of steps already, honestly. Hard. <laughs> like the one in the window. I'll teach you how to move around to play the game. Now first, please press and hold this key. This moves you to the left. No. <laughs> oh my god, it is 3D. Now press and hold this key. Wait a minute, this could be cool. This moves you to the right. Please press and hold this key. Yum. This yum. moves you forward. Oh my god. Wait a minute. This backs you up. This You're could be good. One. I changed my mind. Now. Please move the feather onto me. Move the feather onto me. Now the feather is changing colors. That means you can do something with it. <laughs> Let's test the skills you've learned by helping me find my lost hair ribbon. Please move about the garden using these keys. And when you see the ribbon, click on it with the feather. They remind you of the the new Chip and Dale movie. She looks like facade. She looks like facade to me. Okay, I gotta find the I gotta find the hair ribbon. Oh, I think I see it. You're getting very close to Ooh. the ribbon. You found it. See how it shows up on the side? No. Please come back to where I am using these keys. Which Please keys? Click on the ribbon on the right side there. I hate this little shit in the window. Go away. Stop waving at me. Oh, thank Let me you find my so ribbons in peace. Finding my ribbon. Now, do you see this sign beside me? This is a special game sign. You'll find them all throughout Neverland with your favorite characters next to them. Uh -huh. If you click on a character next to a game sign, you'll learn how to play the game. Mm. If you click on the game sign, you'll be able to start playing that game. Mm. Come closer to me now and click on me. I think I'm close enough. Very good. Now, if you move the feather over the game sign, the sign should glow green. If it doesn't, move closer to it using these keys. See that green glow? That tells you that you can start playing a game. Can I start playing the game, Wendy? Tell you about the game we're going to play. This game is Time Stand Still. Walk toward me when the clock is ticking. Stop when the clock stops ticking. The first one to get to me wins. The fuse of the cannon above will show you how much time you have left in the game. Now click on the sign to start. Who am I competing the game against? Will start when you walk over between the two large pine trees at the other end of the garden. Okay. So move along and good luck. Good. 
Now turn around and face oh. me. These keys. Which keys? Oh, okay. The ones, the only ones I've been using? Ready, Got it. Set, go. No ticking means stop. Dude, I know. Well done. And look, the game sign has a stop. I'm ready to join Captain Hook. I don't remember what Captain Hook's deal is. But if he's against this kid, then I'm... I'm Team Hook. Well, that's a familiar sound. Look, it's Peter Pan. <laughs> Hi, -o, Wendy. No. So nice to see you, Peter. I'd like you to meet my new friend. <laughs> How do you do? I'm weirded out, Peter. Say hello, yum, Tink. Yum. Back the fuck up, Tink. Back hey, up. Hello, Wendy Tink. Tink? That's not very polite. <laughs> Does Tinkerbell not like Wendy? So tell me, what mischief are you up to today? <laughs> well, once again, I've outsmarted that old codfish. She hates Wendy? That's friend. fucking hilarious. Never and I thought it would be a I need to watch to Peter Pan find. again. I'd love to play. Would you like to find the hidden treasure? Just click if you want to play. I would need an outfit like this. I feel like I could rock the Peter Pan, right? Great. The Lost Boys and I will show you how to play the games and give you clues to where the treasure is hidden. I have an idea, Peter. Since I know Neverland, why doesn't Tinkerbell help I like help how they're standing here. like this. Hey, Tink, would that be okay with you? Wonderful. Let's go. Okay, Wendy, you start at Mermaid Cove, and your friend and Tinkerbell can start at the Lost Boys Hideout. Tink, can I play the game now? See us, please. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm gonna try and put that effect in my food video. I don't know that I I have room for it, but I'm gonna try and find a place where I can just <laughs> fly up off the screen. Oh, here I go. Now to land, press and hold this key. To fly automatically, tap this key now. Don't hold it, just tap it. <laughs> to turn off automatic flying, hit this key again. Let's oh try that God. again. No! To fly, press and hold this key. Yeah, I got it. Now to land, yeah. press. Yeah. To turn off automatic flying, yeah. hit this key again. Now that you can fly, let's get started. I can fly. The, the title did say that I would be able to fly, and now that I can. And hold on to my hand, and we'll be off to Neverland. I mean, don't take this personally, but I don't really want to hold your hand, Peter. Here we go! We're off to Neverland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Second start of the right, and straight on till morning. <laughs> Okay. Well, this is a lot better than I thought it was going to be so far. I mean, uh... Welcome to Neverland and the Lost Boys Hideout. Can we go back? Who's that, Peter? This is Wendy's friend, and these are the Lost Boys. Cubby, Rabbit, Foxy, Skunk, and the Raccoon Twins. How's it going? It's the, the never-ending fur con. will show you how to play all the great games here in Neverland. And sometimes... You'll get to play against us. Tinkerbell, it's time you gave our friend here a bag of pixie dust. Please. Can I use it for evil? Thanks, Tink. Now you have your very own bag of pixie dust. Click on it, and I'll show you what it does. Is it flammable? Now you have pixie dust. Anytime you click on something, it will float up a bit and then back down. It'll help you find stuff that's hidden. <laughs> hey, <laughs> try clicking on the lost boys. <laughs> Great! That's the way to do it. Now remember, the more pixie dust you use, the less you'll have for later. Okay. To get more, look for anything that has a magical glow, like that butterfly. Quick, click on the butterfly. It's too fast, Peter. It's too fast. Keep a lookout for other things to click on to collect more pixie dust. Oh, do I have like a meter? I tell you that if you need her help, just click on her bell next to the bag. Like how much pixie, pixie dust? dust. 
He can show you where you need to go, or help you find something that's hidden. This is the Neverland map. Click oh on it to God. go anywhere in Neverland. Go ahead, click on it. There's a lot of information for flying. There's a lot of like steps you gotta go through. You can through. click on any of these locations and go there. If you wanna learn what any of these buttons do, just move the feather over them. Click this red arrow to go back to where you were. Okay. Quit. Treasure map. Return to sign in to start another game. Go back. Pick a game to play. Now let's click the red arrow to go back to the Lost Boys hideout. Oh my god, uh, I didn't even, I didn't do anything. Now there's a piece of the treasure map hidden in each location. To find the piece hidden here, you need to find five balls. Three are hidden around Let's find those balls, let's find Peter's balls! You can play hit the bucket and get a piece of the treasure map. Good luck and have fun. Use some pixie dust so you can get I... the game piece and collect it. What do you think I'm doing? When do we get the shotgun? Do I have to click on it or do I just have to... Okay. This is a pretty magical adventure. I, again, I don't really remember the plot of Peter Pan too much, but I do vaguely recall them hunting through the woods for five balls. It does sound very familiar. I hate the music. Oh my God. Pretty fun. <laughs> Pretty exciting. Hey guys, what the fuck is that? We'll show you this great game, but you must have all five balls to play. Okay, bye then. I just don't want to listen to background music that has like a tuba in it. So I can explain the game to you. Then click on the sign to play. Let's play Mud in Your Eye. We're gonna play Mud in Your Eye. We'll get a ball. We need to catch jewels that are hidden. <laughs> <in> <laughs> <the> <laughs> <eye> <laughs> <and> <laughs> 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 Click on the game sign to play. To play, you do mitt to catch the most jewels. Hit it. my what to do eyes. what? Oh fuck, bye. <laughs> Later. I'm hoping I can win a, a balls. This game is mud in your eye. The Lost Boys are gonna hurl mud pies up at you as you fly over them. Mm. Some have jewels in them. Try to catch the jewels just as they reach you and try not to catch a mud pie and you'll win a ball. Got it? Are we saying this is real mud? It better be mud. Mud pie coming at you. What are you shooting at me, children? Heading your way. Here it comes! Flying mud! Catch this! Mud's away! Here's mud in your eye! Snag this! Heads up! I don't... Totally... Did I win? Haha! You won! Okay. Come on down and get your prize from Skunk. Give me one of them Skunk Balls. Good what are we doing? We can fly! That's what we're doing. Next time you play this game, you can try to beat Peter Pan's record. Look for a cubby so you can play Ghost Pilot. Shut up! I'm looking for balls! Over here! Click on me and I'll tell you about this great game! Or click Is that a balls? No. I don't see any fucking ball. I saw one ball. Oh, I got a ball from Skunk Kid? I guess I did. 
So maybe I gotta play this. Walk and fly around to tag each of the lost boys with the pirate flag, and you'll win a ball! You'll win a ball! In this game, the lost boys are dressed as ghost pirates, and you have oh. to tag each of the lost boys with your pirate flag to win! It's time to vote, player pass! I gotta tag the ghost pirates? Did I do did I do it right? I thought I did that. You win a ball! Yeah, but did I? Oh. I must have missed one. Look, I got a ball! Pass! But we can fly! We can fly, we can fly! Okay, how do I get out of here? If you're sure you want to quit. All right, all right. Wish I could make this shit wireless, honestly. Back to the bingo board, uh, where it's time to uh, draw a new uh, a new board, a new ball. Can we stop the MIDI music? What's wrong with the MIDI music? Oh, should we do a, just a very quick... I don't know how often I should explain the rules, honestly. We're starting a new bingo loop, everybody. It's loud? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so we're starting a new bingo loop. It's super loud. Yeah... Well, I'll just have to see about that later. <laughs> it's supposed to be loud enough to, to where I hear it over the game that we're playing, honestly. Our um, tasty French fries. Anyway, we're drawing a new number. Going to daub a card, possibly win a prize, and then play games in 15-minute chunks, and then we vote player pass. It's a very fun time here at Bingo XP. I didn't rig anything. I didn't rig anything. No more Peter Pan games? I can't promise that. I can't promise that. Uh, N35. N30, uh, really gotta figure out this light situation at some point. N35. Hello? There we go. Let's see. I see. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. oh. Well, that's me right there. Um, you guys really got to get it together. I mean, I don't want it to end so soon. I'm one number away. I mean, if it ends, if the, if bingo ends soon, at this point, I think it's, I think it's uh, your fault. I think it's chat's fault. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Any more 35s out there? Um, no, I see none. I see none. Cocky little freak. Oh, man. It'll be a shame if I win so fast, honestly. I mean, I, I want to win. 
But we really have not pulled that many bingo balls so far. There's N35. <laughs> Want to win, but not like this. Yeah, where do you, how do you guys think that I'm rigging the board? Where, where's the, I love the theories. Yeah, still no G's. We have not hit a single G. I want to know the, uh, pre-recorded. That's, it's not a bad, I mean, maybe that's how I do it. <laughs> Weighted bowels. Okay, let's see what's at uh, N35. Weird Ian voodoo magic. I think I, here's my theory. I think I'm just, my luck from the Friday Night Mario Party streams are just carrying over. Oh, finally, a game for adults. 35, right? A game for grown-ups. We're going to play... Uh, fairly odd parents breaking the rules. So everybody that's been waiting for like a serious game, get ready. I might, uh, in leftovers, I might play more Tinkerbell. <laughs> I mean, it was bad, but it was 3D. That's, uh, that's worth something, right? Thank you for the 300 bits, sassy glasses. Hungry for a corn dog. Ooh, I would, honestly, I would take a corn dog too. Uh, we, last time we mentioned corn dogs, we talked about how you can actually fry them, the frozen ones, and I still don't know if that's true, but it sounds good. It sounds very dangerous, but people seem to assure me that it was a way to prepare frozen uh, corn dogs. Ooh, Korean corn dogs, also very good. Wild Omelette, thank you for the $4 and change. Official Hootie Guess. Trip Star Lake, thank you for the $4 and change. Thank you for Bingo XP, a much needed thing to watch during work. Not a problem. Thanks for being here. There's air fryer instructions for the corn dog package. I'll have to look. I'll have to look. I trust you. Um. But also, it sounds dangerous. Himbo Prime, thank you for the $2 and change. Hootie Hwat. Sasaruga, thank you for the $3. I want the installation music volume so loud, I have to hear it the next... Or I hear it the next day. Always love your streams. Hope you have fun. Man, I wish this one had uh, installation music. Your balls are forfeit. Thank you for the $2 and change. Fellow Hootie Hunters, add your tries to the Discord. Blackbird6361, thank you for the $4 and change. Hootie, I want me some Carter. Eden Envy, thank you for the $4 and change. Joining the Hootie, Hootie Hoot search group. We must find him. Uh, Eden Envy, thank you for the $2 and change. Valentine Hootie Hoo. Ayla Rosebud, thank you for the $2 and change. You're a Hootie hindrance. Listen, uh, there's... Nobody's going to know what the fuck you're talking about. I'm going to read all these donations about Hootie Who, and I'm going to have to explain it every single stream. <laughs> so I am being a Hootie hindrance. I don't want to read the text file. Sam Dub One, thank you for the $3 and change. The hunt will continue whether you like it or not. Leesbian, thank you for the $3 and change. Hootie, your balls are forfeit. Thank you for the $4 and change. Hootie hunting is slow battleship. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Okay, I have to stop reading. Well, hold on. There's a few. There's a few. There's three more. Hold on. Eldritch, Eldritch D's, thank you for the 666 bits. Snooze Cruise, thank you for the $3 and change. Hootie Hoo. Bite Finnick, thank you for the $2 and change. Hootie Hoo. Also, Ian, stop cheating. I'm not cheating. I'm not breaking the rules. I'm following the rules. I'm making a hootie killing while actively saying, stop. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Let me stop the jazz. Let me stop the jazz. Uh, okay, ready to go. Well.
what the fuck does that mean? Virtual memory is turned off or set too low. I don't know what the fuck that even means. Hold on. Start the jazz back up. Mm -hmm. Uh, virtual... Virtual memory? Corn dogs. Visual effects, memory usage, virtual memory. Virtual memory. Well, is that not... It's needed 20? Uh... Uh, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Uh, click system restore? No. In the size and max, change them to more gigs. Uh, I mean, I guess I have a lot of, let's, let's just add like a one to both of these maybe? System manage size. Okay. Okay, let's restart, see how it goes. Thank you to those offering help. Uh, legitimate help that is breaking the computer. Well, I'm. What is happening? I'm changing my virtual memory size so that I can play fairly odd parents. I just changed a setting I've never changed before, so hopefully uh, I didn't fuck anything up. Killer Cat, thank you for the $3 and change. Donating $3.03 in honor of everyone's favorite pop punk band 303. Their lyrics, don't trust a hoe, feel relevant today. That's how I live, that's how I live my life. Never trust a hoe, because the hoe won't trust me. I remember uh, they played that at my our prom, and I went to a Christian school, so they played like a censored version of the song, and I remember the adults being uh, horrified when everyone just sang the regular lyrics. It was very funny. CJ Coma, thank you for the two dollars and change. Two dollars and thirteen cents. Thank you, thank you, CJ. I need twenty megabytes of virtual memory. Hold on, let me just do a custom. Okay, initial size. It might be my GPU. Uh, okay, hold on. Compatibility mode? Is this... Oh, it may actually be a misleading response to an incompatibility with a GPU. I don't know. I don't understand any of this shit. Uh, let's do, like, I don't know, 2,000, and let's do, like, 20, I don't fucking, I don't know what this means. How do you have virtual memory? Okay, we might not be able to break into rules. Unless anyone has any other uh, advice, we might not be breaking the rules. RAM. I might have to just figure out how to do it and save it for the uh, leftovers. It would be better on PS2 anyway. Uh, this is not this is not a VM software. This is an this is an actual machine.
That's what I get for cheating. Okay. I will, uh, I will, maybe we can fix that on leftovers. Let's just go back to the board for now. Should we just make a pin message saying this is an actual build at this point? They won't, they won't read it. <laughs> Nobody reads. Flippy Fizz, thank you for the $3. Happy bingo, everyone. Uh, props to Moose, Brutal BF, and anyone who sent in games to make this happen. Me and the fam love them. Thank you so much, Flippy Fizz. Reading is hard. I agree. So I, I don't blame anybody. I'm just saying. Can I try setting BM to 20 and max to 100? Okay, I'll try one more. Corn Fed, Corn Fed's given us one more try. I, I wouldn't hate to break into rules. Honestly, I, I want to see what it is. Uh, okay, how, what, you said 10 and 20? Uh, 20 and 100, okay. Yum, yum. Okay. Let's just see. Actual older PCs run into these issues quite a bit. 20 and 100? Our tempting, tasty French fries. I thought you everything. said 20 and... Uh, oh, 20 and 100. Is that what I just did? I've already forgotten what the fuck I just did. Legend of Binda 88. Thank you for the $2 and change. Let all this money fly to you like Peter Pan vertically dropping in. Hootie, huh? Thank you, thank you. And your balls are forfeit. Thank you for the $4 and change. Hootie who, more like shooty shoot that the game isn't working. I hope I didn't change anything. See, this is why we can't say hootie who. Hootie who hootie hoo is a hidden donation alert that people are currently trying to find through brute force. Oh my god. Is it working? THQ. It's in the game. Thank you so much, Cornfed, and anyone else who uh, helped with, with the troubleshooting. Because once again, I don't know. I just use the computer. I don't know how to fix it. Hi, it's me, Timmy. Put your name in my guest book, then come meet me in my room. Is that Timmy? Corn dogs. Awesome. Now come on in. Maybe you can help me with my homework. Stupid books, stupid homework, stupid school! That's the spirit, Timmy! We don't need no education! This sounds more normal no now. Cosmo! Uh, I mean, go school! Hooray for learning! What's wrong, Timmy? Oh, it's all the stupid homework Mr. Crocker gave me. I'll never get this all done by Monday. It'll take forever. And a day! Well, it could be worse, sweetie. Yeah, at least your parents aren't going away for the weekend and leaving your evil babysitter Vicky in charge. Surprise, twerp! Your parents are going away for the weekend and left me in charge. Vicky's so cool. You gotta stop saying things like that. <laughs> it is my gift. It is my curse. Listen up, squirt. Who's your favorite Fairly Odd Parents character? And you're doing it for me! But then I won't have time to do mine. Plus, I have to get 11 good deed stamps for my squirrely scout meeting by Sunday. Or I'm staring real hard at her knees. Don't you even care? Hi, Vicky, evil babysitter. Maybe you've heard of me. Of course I don't care! You're doing my homework and that's final! I trust you'll make the right decision, Squirt. Or it's going to be a long, painful weekend! <laughs> oh, it's good to Everyone loves a good decision, Squirt. Oh, man, this stinks! Now I can't 
can't even do the stupid homework I didn't want to do in the first place. And I can kiss that good D badge goodbye. It could be worse. Huh? At least you didn't wish that all the Cosmo! Uh, sorry, Lollipop. My attention span gets shorter by the hey, look! A pile of homework! I wish Vicky had a really nasty cold so she couldn't babysit me this weekend. Sorry, sweetie. No can do. Wanda's right. The rules say that no fairy may grant a wish that directly causes harm to someone else. No matter how much this is, they the, it, this is as exciting as Peter Pan's intro. In trouble all the time, but not directly. Well, what if I wish Vicky had her homework back, but she happened to be standing under it when it appeared? Then kablam! No harm, no foul. I smell a loophole. Hmm. Better look it up just to be sure. In the meantime, Timmy, I'm sure you can think of a better idea for a wish. Hey. I like that they're just they got their hands out. I wish all these books would disappear. Now that we can do! Well, sure, it's not like we'll be banished to the fairy academy for that. I love that expression from Timmy. <laughs> hey, where'd the rules go? It was here a second ago, right before we zapped away all the books in the room. Oh no! Timmy's wish! But I didn't make that wish. I was just reading those words in the clouds. Hey! They're disappearing! I swear I was there a second ago. I smell a trick! I smell a rat! I smell cologne! Wrong! It is the natural, manly aroma of Juanissimo Magnifico. Hey, you're that guy that I hate. That Wanda used to date? Who didn't wait? But I'm so great. Enough nonsense. Oh. Now that you have wished away their rules, it bounces freely through the space-time continuum for anyone to find a physical proof that fairies exist. That's why I don't take my shirt off on stream, actually. I, that's what I look like. It's too intimidating, you know? Exactly. Where I will have the next 500 years to win you back one dita, my love. Until that day, I shall be longing for your return and grooming my soul patch. Can't I just wish for the rules back? If you do, can I wish that the game starts? We lost it. <laughs> can I wish we'll be sent back for sure. uh, that I can uh, do well, something, we please? Find it without wishes, then. How? We'll just have to use our brains. Darn, darn it! it. Darn it. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, wish for a bingo. If we're going to travel the space-time continuum, we're going to need a map. Then I wish for a map. Nice work, Timmy. The rules oh my God. have to be here somewhere. Why is there a picture of Vicky here? The rules is traveling through portals in time. <gasps> and one must have opened in Vicky's nose. Ew. And just when I thought Vicky couldn't gross me out anymore. Let's start looking for the rules. Choose a location on the map and wish to go there. So we got to go in the nose? Wish we were in Vicky's nose, sort of. We're going on a post-nasal trip. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh uh. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Uh. Dude, what's with the what's with boogers, man? Are we inside Vicky's nose? It's worse than I imagined. You're getting an up close and personal view of the human body in all its splendor. It's beautiful in its own way. Yeah. <laughs> is that what this I think is, it, it is? It oh, isn't Gross. Ah, it's touching me. Get me out of here. This is pretty vile. Let's find the rules and get out of here. Kids love boogers. Like it's too hard. Is that why slime is popular? I wish I had a miniature bio ship to fly in. Oh, man. But it's still off a journey in here. Can evil give you a call? It can if King Moogie is behind it. This looks like his work. We better be careful. Slime is over? What? What's cool now? Wait, what What replaced slime? I'm not even listening to what they're... Shut up! Poop? Hey, magic dust! What are the chances? The rules must be leaving this behind. Do I want that? From place to place. Collecting these will help us follow it. I guess it's a good thing I forgot to dust the book this week. If we collect all the dust here, maybe it will help us find the rules if we lose it again. Look out, Timmy! Bad, bad, bad photo! God, stop talking for like a second, please. It won't move, but it will explode if we get too close. Avoid those nose hairs, Timmy. This is just a good thing. Oh my God, oh my God. 
See that thing on the screen? Don't hit that thing. Oh, that other thing. Don't hit that thing. Watch out, Timmy. Don't hit that thing. I got it. I got it. Timmy, learn the turn's pattern and maneuver out of its way. Thanks for the thanks for the help. Do we not just like I wish I was at the other side of this nose, you know? Like I wish I was over there. I wish there was a way to find the rules without having to go in the nose. A lot of uh, a lot of options. Getting the dust. I'm getting the dust. But now I'm, but now I'm frozen. The timer is still going. Um, I think I got stuck in the nose. Wishing here will take you back to the back. Just move the cursor over anything you want a description for. What do I do when I'm fucking I stuck? You wanna leave. Wish no. you could try you again. Do, Push this. Again. Huh? Wish you could try again. Push this. Are you sure you want to leave? If you do, click again. Yeah, is this is this because of my virtual memory? Wishing here will take you back to the back. Are you Wait. sure you want to leave? If you do, click again. I wish we were in Vicky's nose. Sort of. Okay. All right. All right. This is yeah. journey in here. Okay, I can click to make him shut the fuck up. Hey, magic guys, what are the chances? The rules must be Okay, I won't get stuck in the top of the nose this time. I won't. I guess it's a good thing I forgot to dust the book this week. If we collect all the dust here, maybe it will help us find the rules if we lose it again. Oh my god. That's a fever mine, Timmy. It won't move, but it'll explode if we get too close. Avoid those nose hairs, Timmy. This is just. You guys think I should avoid the nose hairs? Oh my god. Look out, Timmy! Stand, 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 bubble! Reminds you of the magic school bus. Yeah, it seems. I feel like. And maneuver out of its way. There was a lot of cartoons and shit about going into the body and seeing how gross the body is. I mean, maybe it's good to know, but it's kind of gross. How'd you guys feel about uh, Osmosis Jones? I saw Osmosis Jones like one time. I don't really remember it. Liked it. Cool designs, but gross. I'm pretty sure I watched it with like, there was like a substitute in biology class or something. Okay. Abort! Abort! Oh wait, no, I'm slowly going. Hold on, slowly going. Maybe if I... Broken. Are you sure you want to leave? Yes. If you do, quit like again. Well, I'm glad we went through all that effort. <laughs> what is it? Hey, what is it? Hey, why it's buttercup? It was great. It was great. I loved it. Okay, we're back at the bingo board. No, we did not hear no timer. Uh, we aborted uh, about four minutes early. Yeah, no vote because the game didn't work. <laughs> the game didn't work. Reset my page file. Remind me when I remind me when I get back over there. Uh, no, no cheating. 
there's no cheating. We've always aborted uh, for technical issues. Relax, relax. Everybody just relax for a bit. I know we're upset because uh, I'm winning so hard at bingo, but you guys got to just relax. Oh, 71. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, 71. Oh, hold on. I promise that it's 071. Oh, 071. Uh, oh, that's one of your guys's. That's actually a pretty good placement. That's pretty pretty good placement for you guys. Uh, what color do we want? What color you guys want for uh, 071? The purple? There we go. Any other 71s? I see 72 and 70. Think that's it? Think that's it? Good job, you're in there now. I believe. I mean, I still wanna win, but I believe in your ability to like catch up a little bit. There we go, oh, 071. All right, all right, let's go find out what game we're gonna play. Okay, something, how about like not, uh... why is there an 056 on the board? Oh yeah, there, oh yeah, sometimes some of the, uh, some of the numbers don't, I made these custom cards, so some of the numbers aren't in the right letter area. Does that make sense? Uh, 071. No, we would just use the number 70. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, I rigged it, yeah. How do I reset the... I spread out the numbers so that uh, we didn't get any repeat. It's to prevent repeat, like, wins, you know? I don't want, uh... I don't want us to win at the same time, so I moved the numbers around. But I will, uh... I will, I will consider the confusion... late or next time you know i'll if it's so too confusing i won't do it that way next time how do i reset uh what should i set it to one one oh two four four oh nine six thank you System ma wait, system managed? System managed. Okay, I'll do that instead. Again, I don't know. I have no idea what this even is, so I don't really. <laughs> I, re I don't really like messing around with it, honestly. I feel like I'm gonna fuck something up. Did that work? Okay. Do we have to restart for that? Quick restart. Okay, 071. Oh my god. So this is, uh. This is not an official CD copy because the, the copy of this game was very expensive. Uh, so it's something that I just have. Uh, it's Barnyard. 
Everybody's favorite game, Barnyard. This is actually, this is actually a very good game. <laughs> yeah, the PC version of Barnyard was kind of expensive. Uh, but this game is actually surprisingly good. <laughs> Let's install. Yeah, the Wii version is also good. This game is actually why I watched Barnyard recently, because we were just testing out a bunch of different games. I have not played this, but I've watched my boyfriend play through, I think, the full thing. I can't see anything. Why the fuck is that? <laughs> There we go. Fit to screen. Yeah, I was playing a bunch of... Uh, when I was working on that game video I never finished. Uh, this is the one we ch one of the ones we checked out. Okay. Do I need to restart? Should I restart? I'm going to do a restart since I changed that setting. Just in case. Just in case. The Lady October, thank you for the $3 and change. Trying my mom's bidet for the hootie. Home Sheepo, thank you for the $10. One decimo, smash or pass? I'll let, uh, oh shit, did I miss the thing? I'll let chat handle that one. Okay, I don't want to go to Vista. Thank you so much, Home Sheepo. I will say that uh, he seems very, like, this big, right? The fairies are, like, that big. Um, yeah, like a foot tall, maybe smaller. <laughs> Just something to consider um, while you're deciding whether you would like to smash or pass. The screen is flashing. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, let's see if I can install this time. Some, uh... Some technical issues today. Oh, shit, I gotta get break into rules. I thought I did get... Okay, I got break into rules out. I do use a capture card for this. Corn dogs. Why is everyone... Stop calling me a cheater. I'm not a cheater. Killer Cat, thank you for the $3 and change. I wish the chat will win and Ian will get stuck in Vicky's nose forever. <laughs> okay. No, I'm not cheating. Chat's just a bunch of whiners. Bunch of whiners. Poppy Rose Witch, thank you for the 100 bits. Watching this and playing RuneScape. I am at peace. What you doing in RuneScape? No, I definitely not, did not mean winners. You could still win. The Winers Lounge. Oh my god. Well, I kind of want to construct that now. I kind of want to construct the Winers Lounge. We would visit there. We'd have to go there way too much. We'd have to go there way too much. It would be a problem. It would be a problem. Let me read some stuff while this installs. Somewhere Flying, thank you for the nine months. The Lady October, thank you for the four months. Loop de Lou, thank you for the two months. War Piglet 80, thank you very much for the three months. Organic Biscuits, thank you for the four months. Music Panda 84, thanks for the two months. Charred Monster, thank you for the 13 months. How many Barnyard fans we got? Everybody, everybody a Barnyard fan? I kind of feel like I want to pee while it's installing. It's, it's taking some time to install. Maybe I'll run and pee. What do you guys think? 
Blue Rez Kitty, thank you very much for the five dollars. I wish Ian would admit he's a cheater. I, I, when I cheat, I will do it blatantly and I will brag about it. I promise. Okay, I am going to go pee real quick. I'm going to chug this too. I need a little bit more energy. Everybody get up and stretch. We're going to play Barnyard here in a second. Once I, how do I, there we go. And uh, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. She may be exclusively a homemaker, or she may hold a part-time job. She works in an office full-time. She enjoys her leisure time. She participates in community affairs. She's athletic. She travels. She is single and fun-loving. And she spends money. In any case, our consumer is a real person. She has no children. No children. No children. Or disc two. How's it going? I, uh, oh yeah, two discs. I chugged my G Fuel and I got a new one. What flavor? Uh, blue. Blue lemonade. What's the uh, blueberry lemonade? Dude, they didn't they did not skimp with the barnyard game, okay? You guys are gonna be impressed. <laughs> Just don't rat me out, Aqua Reaper. Yum, yum. MX Wolf, thank you for the $2 and change. Worth a shot. 
remember niacin. I don't know what I don't know what you're trying to tell me, Amex, but thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I think I have this game. I think I've got the Barnyard game on PS2. Nancy Drew joke. I already forgot. <laughs> I already forgot. You can't expect me to remember a game that I played. <laughs> Uh, okay, what else? What else I got here? I've not played uh, Sheep Raider. No, I have not. What, what did I miss here? Hold on. Pookies, thank you for the four months. Uh, Ophi Wan, thank you for the eleven months. Easy McBreezy, thank you for the eight months. LC Rin, thanks so much for fifty months. Grim Gaming 115, thank you very much for 29 months. The Aus American, thank you for the prime sub. Ash, Ash, Ashrua. I keep, keep mispronouncing that. Thank you for the 29 month. You got seven ads, snippet of intermission, and seven ads. That's insane. I just, I just ran the one thing of ads. What are you guys up to today? Anything, uh, anything exciting? Do I have any screensaver discs? I think I've got, uh, I think I've got, uh, what's the toaster? Uh, After Dark? Stardew Valley, Corn Dogs, Pro Programming, Stuck at Work. Our tempting tasty French fries go with. Every Dude, I want tempty, tempty tasting French fries. CJ Coma, thank you for the four dollars and change. Four dollars and seventy-seven cents. Thank you very much, CJ. Ooh, WordPress developer. That's fun. Two H Fan Club, thank you for the five dollars and change. Hootie who, more like Hootie Raha. Did I do that well enough? Working and lurking. What did you miss? You didn't get a notification. You did not miss anything exciting. Uh, slushy, don't worry. You didn't. We're, we're going to play the exciting game now. We played a very, very odd parents game. Fairly odd parents game that did not let me get past the first level. And uh, Tinkerbell, you can fly. Um, which was not great. And then, yeah, the chat's just been, like, whining because they're losing. You know how it goes. Another day. Yeah, we went up in a nose as as Timmy Turner. We went into Vicky's nose, and then we got stuck there forever. Why do I hate you so much? I you guys are up calling me cheaters nonstop. What do you What do you want me to do? Oh, thanks, thanks. Yeah, thanks for calling me a cheater. Thank you. Was that Was that what you want? <laughs> well, that's not what you're gonna get. You guys should know better. That's not what you're going to get. <laughs> okay. Uh, jazz off. Jazz off. Okay, Barnyard. Barnyard. Here we go. We just won't, we just, I'll just, we just won't do bingo anymore, okay? If there's so much cheating going on, we'll just axe it. No more bingo. I don't want you guys to think I'm cheating, so... Now, who loves Barnyard? 
Who's a big Barnyard fan? It's better than I thought uh, it was. Uh, it was gonna be honestly. <laughs> Oh yeah. This is gonna be us. Spoilers. Yeah, let's let's this is all spoil this is all shit that we're gonna do. Ooh. Very sensitive mouse. Can I change that? Ah! Okay, that's better. That's better. Okay. I don't know how long the intro is. I hope I hope we get to actually play some of the game. I remember the day the newcomer arrived in the barnyard. That mad cow Otis was up on the roof with his friends. Do you have a will, Peck? I mean, did you ever think of donating your body to, uh, science? Uh, just be gentle with me, Otis. It's my first time. 75% of the stream is game intros. And that was when the newcomer showed up. Sex joke right off the bat. The barnyard is a, a lot more sexual than I expected. Um, you do get to build a cow. Good looking sort of cow. I'm going to be... Uh, I'll be Angus. Smart, too. Now what are we going to call you? Now let me show you a... Of course, you must be starving. Wait right there. Yeah, give me food. Hey, Peck, you better fasten your seatbelt. Ah! Seatbelt. There you go. I'll be back later. Otis, father to son talk. Now. I don't like how the... The, their faces look. The cows? Keep it quiet back there, woman. I'm watching the TV. Alright, sprint, move, jump, action, squirt. Hello there. Okay. Let's chat with Miles. Hello there, newcomer. My name is Miles. Hey there, Miles. I'm Ian. The farmer has prepared this sleeping area for you. Don't forget to rest, because if you stay up all night, you'll lose stamina. You can also save your game here. When you're an old mule like me, you forget what you're doing sometimes. Saving often is a good idea. Okay, we will do. You should go and see Ben. He's finished yelling at Otis. Use A, D, W, and S to walk, and mouse cursor to look around. Hold left shift to run. I'm on my way. Why do you hate this? Everyone should just love this. Oh, how do I check my mail? Uh, ooh, I've got a phone. I want to see you. I'm in the barnyard. Come and I'll show you how to cook some yummy recipes. Meet me in the barnyard. Well, I'm already in the barnyard. Welcome to the barnyard. The name's Ben. Hi, Ben. I'm Ian. Nice farm you've got here. Thanks. You should go ahead and meet the other animals. Will do, Ben. If you see a uh above someone's head, press enter to talk to them. The uh 
means they want to tell you something or ask you a favor or play a game. If you can't see anyone with a uh, press M and look on your map. Go ahead and have fun. All right. Let's have some fun. What do you what do you want, pig? I'm pig. Just pig. <laughs> That's me. Yeah. Hey pig, I'm Ian. You know, when a new animal comes to the barnyard, I like to cook up an apple pie, but I've got a problem. What kind of problem? A raccoon problem. Those furry bandits have torn up my cookbook and hidden all the pages. No way. The missing pages have been hidden under rocks marked with an X. If you can find the apple pie recipe, I could make one for us to share. You're on. Okay, so I got to look... I gotta look for, uh, I gotta look for apple recipe. Wait, what was that? Oh, I can, I can, I can pick up the flower. Okay, this guy also wanted to talk to me, I think. Under, oh. Press. Smashing crates and barrels is a great way to make a few extra gopher bucks. I'm supposed to look under rocks with X's on them, right? <laughs> Collect my pages. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Apple pie, apple plus apple plus flour. That's all you need. <laughs> I need to find the blue pages. What's terrible looking about this game? This game is so uh, high tech. Did you find a recipe for me? I sure did. Sweet. Let's make an apple pie. Let me see, let me see. Okay, we'll need two apples. To get apples, find an apple tree, press enter to kick the tree. There is an apple tree next to the chicken coop. You can also press M and look on your map to find other trees. Good luck. Does this remind me of home? It sure does. This is how I would always uh, spend my days uh, when I was a child living on the, the Texas farm on which I uh, lived. Yeah, also I was a cow back then. <laughs> Things have changed. Things have changed since then. Did you get two apples for me? Here you go. Great, all we need now is some flour. Flour can be found in grain sacks. To stomp a grain sack, stand next to it and press enter. You can find money and other things in crates and barrels too. Okay. Yeah, I need to I need to find some sacks to stomp. Chocolate mousse. I don't, I'm not that interested in the chocolate mousse right now. I want the, uh, I need the flour. Oh, shit, money. Some what to, some sacks. I need to stomp on some sacks, is what I said. What, where are the sacks? I see boxes. I wish I didn't have to push enter to uh, break the... It's a little weird to move the hand from the mouse all the way over to enter to break things. Oh, should I go in the barn? 
I'll go look. I didn't think they would let me in the barn yet, but maybe they will. Probably better with a controller. I don't know if you can play it with a controller. I mean, you can in the console versions, I suppose. So this is, uh, as you play, you get to spruce up the barn and add a bunch of shit, which is kind of cool. I don't see any grain sacks. Oh, there's, there's going to be squirting. Don't worry. There's, there's plenty of squirting in this game. You, you do squirt, uh, a lot. I just have to unlock the power. Okay, I don't think... I don't think they're in here. <laughs> hate having ears. Listen, listen. See, look, left mouse button, squirt milk. Squirting is a big part of the barnyard universe. It's a very, it's very important. Oh, are those grain sacks? Ooh. It's probably fine, right? What if I, uh... There we go. Just the remix. Uh, I, I, maybe I was talking about squirting too much. Oh, it's still... Does this have to do with my system memory? Did you find some flour? Here you go. Sweet, let's get cooking. Press enter on the barn's back door to enter the kitchen. Well, hold on. I I might need to restart the game real quick. I can't save while on a mission. I might just have to restart. Oh, here. What if I just turn it down for you guys real quick? Uh, let's see here. What did he want me to do? Wait. Was the crunching the game or? Is that a cable issue? Oh, uh, back door to kitchens. What's happening? <laughs> What's happening? Uh Okay. Okay, it sounds better. Dude, I got an apple pie. Uh, do I want to leave the kitchen? Yeah. Time to go to work. You miss Gormania? Dude, Gormania was a great game. Great game. What's with the... I really think the audio might not be the game. I think it might be... Ba 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 da 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 ba da 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 ba ba ba. Would you like to see more barnyard? We're just getting started. Or would you like to move 
uh, to another game. Let it be known. Type player pass in the chat. Subscribers do, uh, let me see, I think subscribers have more pull here. Okay, I would like to thank Bistin for subscribing. Omega Stink, thank you for the five months. Oh, Bistin, thank you for the 32 months. Sorry about that. Flamboyant Alien, thank you for the 24 months. Brit and Wolfs, thank you for the 12 months. Twisted Lucario, thank you very much for the bits. Astro Man, thank you for the Prime Sub. Blue Raz Kitty, thank you for the 35 months. Dango Mancer, thank you for the 39 months. Win Geeks Craft, thank you for 39 months. And The Violent Lolita, thank you very much for 26 months. Oh, uh, looks like we're going to play. Looks, looks like we're playing. We, we want to see the squirt. The people demand the squirt. Crusty Old Human, thank you for the 19 months. A Friendly Stan, thank you for the 48 months. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Beautiful. Well... Oh shit, I'm running out of time. This was a timed uh, event. Mm. That apple pie was mighty good. Anytime you want to cook something up, come and see me in the kitchen. Here, take my cookbook and my mocktails book. As you find the last res the lost recipes, you can add them to these books. Chat voted play, right? Someone someone asked, and now I have now I'm questioning. I'm pretty sure chat voted play. I think I'll get a snack. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm just doubting myself. Thought maybe I just wanted to play. No, it's you're you're good to ask. I should have known for certain. I sh I shouldn't I shouldn't doubt. Okay, I think the crunching might have been coming from uh, Streamlabs actually. Hold on. Okay, okay. Save? Oh, good idea, good idea. Yeah, this game's got like a, it's got a day to night cycle. It's, it's surprisingly, uh, surprisingly featured. Hello, stranger. I'm Duke. Man's best friend. So what's the farmer like? He's a vegetarian. He never eats meat. That's good news. I'll say. We've got a pretty sweet deal going on here. Was Duke afraid of uh, being eaten? So we make sure we don't ever let him see us on two legs. Every morning, the farmer heads out to the fields. Every night, he comes back home at sunset. He goes to bed early, so don't worry about him seeing you at night. All right, thanks, Duke. That's about enough for now. Okay. Who wants to chat? Who wants to chat? Oh, I got mail. Pip, meet me in the barnyard. Dude, everyone wants me to meet in the barnyard. No, this is not my fursona. This is my barnyard sona. Everybody, uh, take some time to make a barnyard sona. Bar Why can't I say that? Barnyard sona today.
barn sona. Uh, am I supposed to go to bed now? I think maybe I'm supposed to go to bed now. There we go. <laughs> the moon just kind of fell out of the sky like like Peter Pan. What now? Meet me in the barnyard. Yeah, I'm going to meet you in the barnyard, dude. My name is Pete. Hey there, Pip. I'm new around here. Oh, newbie, eh? Here's a little tip. Here's Pip's tip to help you find things out around here. Animals sometimes write down secrets and put them on fences or in trees. Why would why would they do that? In trees. Yep, trees. Don't ask me why. Maybe it's a cow thing. Anyway, if you see a note, walk up to it and press enter to read it. Thanks for the tip. Seems pretty quiet around here so far. Let's shake things up a little. Take this pair of sunglasses. Otis will tell you what to do with them. Teehee. Some guys are going to get milked today. Gotcha. Who's Otis? He's the big black and white cow. Me and him are best buddies. Okay, good. We got the sun. You can't squirt unless you got sunglasses. I just can't squirt unless I'm wearing shades, you know? I'm sure someone out there can relate. Hey there, I'm Otis. Hey there yourself, Otis, I'm Ian. Hey, you must be that new cow that Pip was telling me about. I guess I am, he gave me this pair of sunglasses. Now you're talking. You know what these are for, right? Looking cool. Besides that, keeping the sun out of my eyes. And that. A quick disguise? You betcha. Around here, we wear them when we want to do a little milk squirting. <laughs> Anonymous milk squirting. Um, to get ready, open your inventory with I, select your sunglasses, and press Enter to put them on. Once you are wearing your sunglasses, press left mouse to squirt milk. To take aim, hold down right mouse. If you run out of milk, run to a milk refill to recharge yourself. Go on, give it a try. You know you want to. See if you can squirt six different animals in the barnyard. Oh, I will. Oh, I will. Just you wait. Just you wait. Here we go, there's one. Wait a minute. There we go. <laughs> there's two. Hey, guy. Don't worry, they can't tell who I am because I've got shades on, so they can't tell. <laughs> I'm out of milk. I gotta get some more milk. Hold on. Yeah, gotta, gotta make sure we squirt the ladies and children, too. Don't wanna, you know, everybody gets some. What's up, guys? Oh, I, I squirted enough. For now. Who is the cow? Who is the cow? I can see you're going to fit right in around here. We just, we just squirt nonstop. Hey, do you have a cell phone? Of course. If I'm ever looking for you, I'll send you a text message. I'll tell the other animals that they can text you too. When you see the message icon, check your messages. Press I to open your inventory, select your cell phone, and press enter to switch it on. 
you'll get messages from every animal who wants to see you that day. If you don't have time, you can catch up the next day. Got it. Just don't let my dad stop you from having fun. Do what you want to do. Okay. Who's paying for their minutes? That's a good that's a good question. That's a very good question. I oh. Can I get on the bike? I don't have the key to the bike yet. Okay, I need phone. I want to see you. I'm in the barnyard. I'm in the barnyard. Can you join me? I want to see you. I'm in the barnyard. It's time for you to learn how to fight. Okay. Fight. It's our responsibility to make sure that no animal is harmed on this side of the fence. To keep that promise, we have to be ready. Oh, wow. I saw you fooling around with Otis before. Let's see how good your squirting really is. I've planted targets around the barnyard. If you run out of milk, run to a milk refill to recharge yourself. You have to go around three times and squirt milk on all of the targets before your timer runs out. We call it sharp squirting. Do you want to give it a try? Sure. All right. Who's ready for some sharp? We're going to be the sharp squirter. See, we look so cool. Time to go squirt. Oh, they don't say ready, set, squirt. Where's the, uh... Yeah. Don't mess with me, okay? I'm the sharp squirter. Oh, shit, there's more. Am I squirting to, like, hit the cans, or am I squirting to fill the cans? Nice. Yeah. Oh, more. So, who's going to run out and get Barnyard? This bad to the bone loop, it just feels like the song never starts. Get here right now. Squirt from the bone. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, I got a star. That's probably good. Why was this game so expensive? I don't know. There were just, like, only a couple listings on eBay. Uh, the the Wii and the like PS2 versions are, are much more affordable. Well done. Thank you. Keep up your training. One day you may need it for real. I'll be ready. I think you will be. You seem like a sensible kind of cow. Here, have this. It's the key to the barnyard gate. All right. Be careful out there. Speedrunners run the PC version. Dude, I want to speed run. I wonder what the speed run for Barnyard is. How much squirting do you have to do to get through barnyard have I considered being a voice actor I mean no <laughs> I it, it's one of those things that sounds like a fun idea but I feel like you have to try to do that 
I'm not gonna go through all that effort. <laughs> if someone wants me to voice something and reaches out, sure. Isn't that more of a pig thing than a cow thing? Don't tell me you're scared of getting a little mud on your cowhide. It's fun. We spin the water pump around. When it comes your way, you can jump over it with space or kick it with F. Last animal standing wins. Want to try it? You picked the wrong cow. Copy of Barnyard for 60. That's not too bad on PC. It was definitely more expensive when I uh, checked a few months ago. Okay. Oh, fuck. Bitch. Oh, this does it does have an MXC feel to it. Three hours for the speed run? I wonder if there are like glitches? Do you have to like bypass shit? Or is that just how fast you can get through the main game? You motherfucker, die! Oh, what timing. That was kind of scary timing, honestly. Mode player pass in the chat. Type out the word play or the word pass or the number one or the number two. And then hit enter. Ballistic characteristic, thank you for the seven months. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Silly Lion Face, thank you very much for the 13 months. Man, you guys don't want to see more squirting? We could talk about squirting all day if we just... Play, play, play. Non-stop squirt talk. I'm also glad the pole site is back up. All squirted out. You just gotta recharge at the squirt station or whatever. <laughs> whatever. We can play more on the uh, on the leftover stream. If you guys want to see more. Glad we're done with the piss talk. I actually am going to go pee after this vote, so. <laughs> I, ch I chugged my uh, remaining G Fuel when I went and got another one. Okay, we're passing. We're passing on the greatest game that we've... Uh, seen here so far just just so we're all clear yeah i'm gonna run and save before i quit all right. i can't read this because i pass i'm not i'm not legally allowed to read this because we voted pass <laughs> it's no shoots and ladders okay All right, it's getting hot in here. All right, I'll be right back, and we will uh, we will hit the bingo board, and we'll hit the bingo board when I get back.
Here's a choice of food and drink to satisfy anyone and everyone. You'll find something to please you to add to your evening's enjoyment. Something to please all tastes and age groups. Hello? What did, uh, what'd I miss? What'd I miss? Anything good? Oh, no. Hi, cheater. Hello, whiner. How's it going? Hold on, I want, the. Uh, I want my, I want to be able to hear the music. Gossiping about me? 
Any any fun goss? Ooh, yeah, there we go. There's some good jazz. I got an applesauce to eat. All right. Let's do, uh, we got some people coming in, it looks like. Let's do a quick rules recap. Just for those that are new, we are entering a new round of the uh, Brutal Moose Bingo Loop. Where we draw a number, and then we mark the cards. If we get a bingo, there could be some prizes involved. Uh, then we play the corresponding game for 15-minute chunks. Vote player pass. And, uh... Then we do it all again, over and 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 over. <laughs> Why don't you guys want me to win? I thought we were friends. You don't want me to win? What a hamburger. N33, still no G's. N33. Oh my God. Uh, well, that's a bingo. That's a bingo. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so it goes. I mean, I mean, what do you want? Whole thing is a farce. Not even two days. Well, we did do six hours yesterday. Boom. Also one here. Uh so that's bingo me. I rigged the whole thing. Rigged. I'm out. <laughs> uh well, we didn't hit enough. Here. I'll get two. Now, what now what do I want to do? I feel like it was too fast. I feel like I want to keep going. Let me think for a second. Give me a second to think. I think maybe I should just say that I won and I'll keep playing for bingo drops. And uh Yeah. Think faster. I mean, I still I'm still going to play today, definitely. Oh, that's a bummer though. That's a bummer. I feel like I can't just change the rules because I won too fast, you know? But, hold on. Let's find out what our next full series is gonna be. Hold on, hold on. We at least get to go to the winner's lounge. It's okay, we're gonna keep playing. I'm gonna hit some of these sub drops. We're not done. Though we are kind of done. Uh, hold on one second. Uh, you guys can see, uh... Ah! Here, I'll let you watch some TV while I set up the winner's lounge. Here we go, I think I'm playing, looks like I'm playing Lego Island. It's okay. Uh, we will, uh, you know, I'll, I'll just, maybe we'll do Blackout next season. Depending on the game, we might be able to start next season next week. Just have to, just have to see. I cannot believe I, I won so fast. I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed. I did win bingo. Oh, shit. Hold on. I went through all the trouble of putting new batteries in my lights, and I didn't even... Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to disappoint. I'm sorry to disappoint. Hopefully someone's excited that we got a bingo. is rigged mad at winning so this is reaction i was going for you know i worked real hard on this uh because i wanted to 
disappoint everybody and be called a cheater all day. It's really, it's it going exactly as planned. Uh, okay. We got MJ asleep on the couch over here, by the way. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we good? We good? Set up here. Let's uh, let's open the doors. Zip. Zip. God, this, the lamps just fall the fuck over. They're always falling over these lamps. All right. Welcome, one and all, to the doors. Let's see what we're playing for today. I actually kind of forgot what games I picked. Okay. Behind these doors are uh, three letters that represent three games. We got Riven. We've got the Lost PC game that I really want to try out. And then we've got the Humongous Wheel, which I envision as a wheel with uh, different humongous characters. And I'll spin, play a game, spin, play a game, that kind of a thing. Uh, so that's what we're that's what we're voting for here. I think I have to activate the poll over here. Uh all right. Choose wisely. Sorry, this is flashing. It's not supposed to be flashing. There we go. Choose wisely. What What do we want? Like, what do we want to hit? Riven. Uh, we're going door three. We want wheel. Humongous wheel. I think Lost would be good, too. Door number three. Look, we're looking like door number three. Let's see. Let's see what we got. I'll uh, I'll put this back up behind door number three. Yoop. Is letter B? We're playing Lost, baby. I'm actually excited. I, I want to see what the Lost game's all about. It's going to be story-driven, hopefully voice-acted. Uh, behind two was the humongous wheel, which means that uh, behind one here, we had Riven. Someone in, in my VOD comments is going to be uh, very upset. <laughs> We've got a, someone who really wants me to play Riven, and we got so close. I have no idea how long the Lost game is. I've never, I've never played it. See another fallen lamp. Zoop, zoop. All right. Well, that was our trip to the doors. We've got our next full season or our full series. Uh, picked out. What's the chat picks? I don't know. I don't know that I should say. I might just reuse. I might just reuse them for uh, for next time. Okay, let's head back to the board. Six out. Six hours. I could probably get through the lost thing in a day. In thirty three. Well, I I uh, apologize for bingoing so fast. I just didn't I didn't realize how good I was gonna be. <laughs> Better be sorry. Trust me, it's I am very sorry. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I'm seeing the reaction. Uh, I'm seeing the disappointment. So trust me, I feel it in this chilies tonight.
Okay, let's see what in 33 is because I'm still going to go. We're still going to uh, get some bingos, get some sub drops. In 33 is Logic Quest. Logic Quest? Oh, you can't see me. Logic, Logic Quest. A quest of, of logics of some sort. Oh, wow. Is it a game by Logitech? It is not. <laughs> Professional bingo player. Feel dirty playing more after the win. Well, I, I just can't win. <laughs> I just can't win. Okay. Sam Dub won. Thank you for the $3 and change. Barnyard is a very fun game. I 100% it with a friend a few years ago. Hope to see more of it. And the Spy Muppets after bingo. Hold on. Sorry about that. I didn't realize. Uh... Uh, we will do we will do bingo XP part two after we play Lost. Uh... Does this even fucking work? Uh... Hold on, hold on. Maybe this is just like an old game. What? Well, they're definitely not here. It requires setup DLL and Iris DLL located in setup library. Okay, let's see if I can... Bingo XP sure has a lot of non-Windows XP games. I did not... Remember, I did not... <laughs> I did not pick these this season. Uh, I will pick them next season. Here's what I'll do. I will pick them next season. Did I miss a folder? Oh, yeah, I did. I'll get it. Here's what I'll do. Next season, I will pick the games, and I will also pull numbers out so I can't win. Okay? That's what I'll do. Killer Cat, thank you for the three dollars and change. To the window, to the wall, till the squirt drop down my Peter Pan balls. <laughs> thank you very much, Killer Cat. Thank you, thank you. I would like to thank Anonymous for gifting a sub. More Knight for the five months. Mabel the Ferret for 13 months. Hunter B21. Thank you for the three months. Punk Rock Sock. Thanks for gifting that sub. JXN7825. Thank you for the prime sub. Lumber Pup. Thank you for the subscription. Matt Daniels82. Thank you for the bits. Robo Livable, thank you for these seven months. And Lumber Pup, thank you for gifting a sub to Cheeky Bat. Yeah, Ian just Ian just won. And uh, the bingo audience uh, are just in shambles. Maybe Chad Tronic could be an impartial third party and draw the numbers. I don't think drawing the numbers is the problem. I think the problem is that with bingo, you can win in four polls. When are we starting Lost? I feel like we should start Lost Monday, because I got to do book club on Friday. 
Um, well, maybe we could start Friday and then try and finish up on Monday. Do people actually think the cheating is real? Who knows? Who knows at this point? Uh, Clarity Jane, thank you for the $2 and change. The only way I could be more disappointed is if this is the Hootie Who. Well, uh, you're not disappointed. I guess. Mario Party Friday. Sudoku XP. I do have a... I have, we could do Mahjong XP. I have a lot of uh, Mahjong games. <laughs> Yelling rigged is really hot right now. <laughs> Thank you, Momoara. Did not expect to win so fast. But, uh, you know, something to think about next time. Maybe next time we do two bingos. What do you think? Two bingos? See you, Chaka. What's my prize rubbing it in? I'm not rubbing it in anybody's faces. I feel guilty about my victory. I'm not I'm not bragging about anything. Sassy glasses, thank you for the three dollars. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, blackout I think would take too long. Next time we can do two. Two line would make sense. We'll, um, we will, uh, try it. I'll try to get a season two going by next week. I feel like it's probably pretty doable. No. Okay, well, this one we might have to save if we do leftovers, or when we do leftovers. Uh, I might have to break out the 98 machine for this. That was Jarvis. That was my kind of thought. I went to, I went to one uh, one bingo because I thought some of the other seasons were a little long. But Mo Chicken, thank you for the three dollars and change. Tasty French fries go with everything. You're just too good at arbitrary number selection. I guess so. And Ayla Rosebuds, thank you for the four dollars and change. Hootie Sigh. And on that note, let's see if we can get a sub drop. All right, all right. Let's just get into it. We know how it works. Why bother explaining the rules when the game is over? Watch you guys get a bingo in like two moves now. G52. Finally get a fucking 50 or a G. G52. Can you guys see that? Oh, wait, hold on. G, uh, I'm assuming you guys can, I don't really, there we go. G52. Uh, I see 52. I see that's the only 52. Getting pretty close to a small sub drop. Corn dogs. Anybody else see any other 52s? Oh, oh, sorry. Cam up. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. A lot, of, a lot of things happening in the brain right now. Uh, I dobbed here on 52. I don't think I see any other. Anybody else see a 52? Okay. Ah! 
I almost dropped <laughs> almost dropped it. Well, now we know it's possible to draw a G. That's that's po- I would say that's a positive. There we go. Okay, 52. Let's see. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Wait, why? I, I can't, we can't play this. Why is this on here? Why? Yum, yum. We can't, I, I, we can't play this. We cannot play this. I can't even say why. we got to go back to the board. Uh, next time I'm picking the games. <laughs> I, can't, I can't say why we can't play it. Barbecue. Uh, Barbecue. Barbecue. I'll just say I have other plans. I have other plans for that. Uh, that game. No, it's not porn. Okay, I'll sh- I'll show you I'll show you I'll be I'll show you what it is. But we can't we can't play it now. It's uh it's Titanic Adventure Out of Time. I'm not going to play that on Bingo. I'm going to play I want to sit down and play that for the full for the full thing. Yeah, we can't play it on bingo. Here, I'll even, since it's over and everything's ruined. Uh, yeah, well, I won't go back and show, but that was one of the one of the games for chat. Okay. Well, it means I can pull another pull another number. It's going great. It's going just as well as it went uh, on Monday. In 36. In 30. Hold on. In 36. Yes? Now help me find help me find it. Uh oh that's one for you guys. Here's uh here's a deal. Here I'll make I'll make this deal with you. Hold on, let me let me think up the specifics. I'm just going to pick your color cuz I get to do that. Uh you're going to have you're going piss yellow. In 36. Okay, here's here's my deal. Here's my deal for the rest of today. If you guys get a bingo, uh, we will we will head to the winners lounge and we will select a chat game. And then yeah, we'll either vote between the two, or we'll just head to the doors, and uh, probably head head to the doors again. Okay, that that fair? You don't get a little kiss, no. I still want it. You know, I still want some excitement there. I'm not looking to bingo on day two, really. In 36. Okay, 36. Oh, I gotta change the... Oh, great. 
Microsoft Musical Instruments. You can't even see it. You can see the webcam. I'm assuming this is going to be like dangerous creatures and there's going to be various musical instruments like eating each other. Hexadeca, thank you for the $3 and change. Extremely fun season of bingo as always. Ayla Rosebuds, thank you for the $2 and change. In honor of going to the dentist yesterday. Uh, Vulchula, thank you for the $2 and change. Joining the Hootie Hunt, though I don't know what's been guessed before. And Iron in the Gulf, thank you for the $7 and change. Winner! Yeah, that's how it feels, really. <laughs> Who is the purple-haired animal ear... Animal ear person pin? Oh, uh, that's... um. That's Yoko Kurama from uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. Thank you very much, Hexadeca, Ayla Rosebuds, Vulchula, and Iron in the Gulf. Thank you, thank you. What did I use to make the little working TV for the Winner's Lounge? I think the TV is like a car backup camera. I found it on Amazon. Um, I don't know 100% what it is. It's just very small. Thanks, Two-Headed Ghost. Donnie the Grass Ogre. Thank you very much for subscribing. Now, we're still going to... I'm going to keep going for a while, try and get some, uh, some doors. Uh, create a directory. Oh, see, it even opened up Dangerous Creatures. All right. Shut the fuck up, Jazz. Oh, it was really fun revealing the Winner's Lounge for the first time. Oh. Okay, is there like a... I wish these things had like games. Is there no... Uh... Wind bands, jazz bands, steel bands, game lens. Oh my God. Bong, bonangs or gong chimes are important instruments of the traditional gamelan, the percussion orchestra from Java in India. Oh, okay. Uh, trumpet. The trumpet is used to play all kinds of music ranging from South American ballads to classical orchestral pieces. Blazing fanfares and moody mellowness are all characteristics. Trump. Okay. Tam Tam. The tam-tam is a huge metal percussion instrument which makes an unforgettable booming sound. It is a type of gong, but uh, is, it is made of thinner... Okay. Highland bagpipe. The Highland bagpipe is a reed instrument which produces a continuous stream of sound. This is because the reeds are activated by air stored in the bag and not directly from the player's mouth. Uh, the Highland Bagpipe is the national instrument of Scotland, where it developed as a military instrument during the... Okay. Clavin... Ooh, I like this. The clavinet is an electric keyboard instrument that works like a clavichord. It has short strings that are struck by a piece of metal when a key is pressed. Because of the clavinet's strong percussion sound, it is sometimes used as an alternative to the rhythm guitar in funk and rock music. I like that one. <laughs> The baritone saxophone is... Okay, I need to... Hold on. I need to find out if there's, like, a, a game or something. Can I do something here? Horn hand. Con contrabass flute? I'll look for it. Yeah, why not? I'll just, uh... Uh... Contrabassoon. Uh... 
Double bassoon, digital sampler. Digital sampler? Corn dog. Beautiful. <laughs> Piccolo? Yeah, I'll just um I'll just start looking for any uh instruments that you guys like. Who's got a favorite instrument and why is it the piccolo? Beautiful. Ooh, theremin? Do they have like how many instruments are we talking here? Uh No theremin. No theremin. Uh, you demand monsters. I don't think. What about a what about a triangle? Is that kind of like a monster? Synth. I don't see. Oh wait, yeah. Here we go. Synthesizer is the ultimate tool for creating a pop song. A pop group can use one synthesizer, or several can be used together. In fact, an entire song, apart from the vocals, can be produced with synthesizers. There are almost no limits to the sound uh, creations possible on a synthesizer. loop the song I mean if we're going to stretch it to 15 minutes we're going to have to loop something well that was beautiful it did kind of sound like jump didn't it they how do you adjust it how do you uh performers choose drums according to the size of their hands also the pitch how do you make it go boom raise the pitch of the drums when hammered downward so you I don't get it. I don't, uh... Boom. You smack it downward. I don't get it. I don't get it. Tam Tam. Anyone here play the Tam Tam? Tenor saxophone. Tenor saxophone. That's what this this one sounds like. Tenor saxophone. Tenor saxophone. The tenor saxophone is like a is like a Pokemon. You, you, tenor saxophone. This is what it sounds like when you blow into it. Timbales. Timbales. Oh wait, can I actually play this one? Hell yeah. Do bass guitar? I can do bass guitar. Everything. Uh, how do I B? Bass guitar. Bass guitar. Bass guitar. Oh, 
they had like videos of the different instruments being played. We jamming. Ooh. Yeah. Some bingo background music right there. I feel like playing bass would be fun. And also maybe uh, easier to manage. What the fuck is this? Bassett horn. It sounds like Peter and the Wolf. Is that a combination of a bassoon, maybe? It sounds like a bassoon. Member of the clarinet family. It is larger than the conventional clarinet and plays lower notes. Though composers no longer write for it, the basset horn was very popular during the late 18th and 19th century. That's so weird. Our tempting, tasty french fries go with everything. <laughs> Oh, that was that was Peter and the Wolf. Dude, I used to love Peter and the Wolf. That one's not from Peter and the Wolf, I don't think. Where is Oboe? Let's look. What is Peter and the Wolf? Peter and the Wolf is a, uh, it's like a suite of songs that was turned into a, an animated, I think Disney did it, right? Animated Disney thing where each, each instrument re represents a character. Um, man, I used to love it. It's, it's mostly, a lot of it is just um, kind of orchestral solos almost. What was I looking for? Now, definitely, if you've not, not seen Peter and the Wolf, definitely. Oboe, worth checking out. I think that's... This is Peter and the Wolf as well, is it not? Swan Lake? Swan Lake? Okay. I definitely recognize the tune. What is Swan Lake? Is Swan Lake just a piece of music, or is that specifically, like, what is it exactly? Where, like, how did it, a ballet? Okay. I do like the sound of the oboe. Interesting. The oboe is the instrument which plays an A at the beginning of a concert for all the other players to tune to. I could, I mean, if they put full songs in here, I could just sit here and listen to this shit. I love classical music. Uh, yeah, well, we're run, running out of time, so what are we looking for? Violin? Sack butt? Is that a real thing? <laughs> I'll, I'll look for sack butt after this. I always wanted to play the violin. I wanted to play the violin so bad, and I want to play the saxophone so bad. The sack butt. Sack butt. 
Sackbut. 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 So that's the important part of that one. <laughs> uh nay 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 okay is that bam bamboo it looks like a bamboo It didn't like that one. Don't worry, don't worry. How about... What is this thing? Forte piano. A forte piano? Earliest type of piano. First example was built by the harpsichord maker Christofari in 1709. I'd never considered what the original piano was. Hurdy gurdy. Corn dogs. I'll look. They got harmonica. Oh yeah, they do have hurdy gurdy. Hurdy gurdy. Hurdy gurdy. Hurdy gurdy. Well, do we want more instruments for 15 minutes? Or do we want uh, we want a player? We want a pass. Player pass. Man, I wish I had some chips. Anyone anyone eating chips right now? Tell me what kind of chips you're eating. Oh. So I can just think about... I can just think about how I would eat chips. No, I don't want to eat chips in your ear. I'll eat chips later. If I could get any kind of chips right now... Ooh, Pringles sound real good. I think I would want... I think I just want some crunchy Cheetos. Okay, we're unfortunately passing on Microsoft musical instruments. Stop buying Pringles because they kept having not enough powder. I just want some plain boring Pringles, though. I just want the boring ones. All right. If you missed what has been going down today at Bingo... I have already won. I've got my bingo, and I'm quite pleased with myself for it. Uh, but I made a deal that uh, if chat can get a bingo today, uh, we will uh, we will go to the winners' lounge and determine what the uh, what the chat game is. You're so good with Lost. I I I'm good with Lost too. I'm. It's mostly just disappointment. Uh, with the early bingo, but you know, you can't predict it. No, it won't replace the last one. I think I think we should do a, a vote. Excited for Lost? I want Lost? Oh my god. I'm dying over here. I'm dying over here. Let's uh let's pull a number. Okay. Another O. O72. O72.
I mean, I get I get the argument that we should just do loss since that's what. Uh, hey, one for you guys. Since that that's I I know. Should probably just stick with lost. But we'll see. If you guys get a bingo, I'll do something. How's that? If you guys get a bingo, I'll do I'll do something. Seventy-two, seventy-two. Oh, large sub drop. There we go. Dance. I won't dance. No, I won't do a funny dance. No, that's where I, that's where I draw the line. No funny dances. Okay. O seventy-two. We probably should just stick with Lost. My, I, I just, my, I just... He's not prepared for this early of a, of a bingo. O72 is Sega Bass Fishing on Sega PC. Okay, I'll I'll keep it at lost. I'll keep it at lost and but if you guys get a bingo, we'll we'll do something. We'll do something. I shouldn't be I shouldn't be changing rules, making deals. I just have to live with my disgusting victory. Ethereal Dova, thank you so much for gifting those five subs. Hoping I fill my card before you get one bingo. Snooze Cruise, thank you for gifting the sub. How is Daffodil? Thank you for the three dollars and change, the four dollars and change, the four dollars and change, the four dollars and change, the three dollars and change. Thank you very much, Hatless Daffodil. Hello. Uh, T Girl 93, thank you very much for the 75 months. Zizux, thank you for the 57 months. And Leave Insanity, thank you very much for the 8 months. Thank you, thank you. Do I think this will be like real fishing? I don't think so. I've played I've played Sega Bass Fishing on uh Dreamcast. But uh never on PC. I'm assuming it's very similar. What up, Kazzy? the last time I went fishing IRL? Oh my god. Uh, long time ago. I did used to go fishing. I mean, I used to do, like, Boy Scouts and camping a lot growing up. So, definitely been there. It's just been a while. What is with this... What's the fucking deal? Can I still play it? Yeah, I got I get weird errors today. Dreamcast bingo when I get 75 Dreamcast games, I guess. All right. Oh, is it flashing? Oh. There we go. Play as big the cat. I don't think you can, can you? How do I now? How do I do this with the? Uh... Keyboard, like, what's the keyboard controls here? I guess I'll figure it out. I have this. I have the Sega fishing rod for Dreamcast. <laughs> 
I don't have it for PC, but I do have I do have it for Dreamcast. Welcome to Lay Paradise. I like the area. I like the lodge. Lodge area. Enjoy your fishing. Select the lure. Let's stick with something easy. Okay. Select the casting point. I wonder if I just push, like, down to reel it in? Bite it! How do I... Hold on. It's gone! Well... Yeah, fish. Hit bonus. Turn the rod left. Turn the rod left. How do I reel the the? Hold on, hold on. I'm just gonna Google Sega Bass Fishing PC controls. Uh. Okay. E is real slowly. Q is real fast. Lost. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay, that's working. Hello? I feel like even with the rod, Sega Bass Fishing is a lot harder than I expect it to be. Oops. Yeah, you guys better start to, if you haven't watched Lost, you better start watching. Bite it. Uh. Bite. Fish. Because you're going to need to know. Bonus. All the characters and everything that happens before before we play Lost. Turn the rod right. Oh shit! No, I'm staying. Yeah, no. boat. Small one. How many eps in Lost? How many episodes I are there in Lost? A lot. Oh, you think the, the game's just gonna do a recap? I do think it's gonna be fun. I mean, the speed of the bingo aside, I think the Lost game is going to be pretty good. Come on, come on. Ready? Try it again. Fight. Fish. Hit bonus. Turn the rod left. Turn the rod left. LDR for Lost. I'll come up with like some type of recap. Love Lost, but you'll never watch it again. I will. Come on, bro. Be careful. Oh, a big one. Dude, I caught the big one. I'm bonus. Is Lost streaming? Lost is on some streaming site. I think I watched it on Hulu, but it's so hard. It's almost like streaming services just trade series now. It's hard to know where anything is anymore. It's coming near. Bite. Fish. I got lost on Blu-ray, okay, because I'm a I'm a real lost fan. Turn the rod right. Stick to Max. Yeah, I. That's the, the only streaming service I'm paying for right now is Max. Okay, an average size. Good job. I'm bonus. Oops. Paramount and Peacock are merging. 
It's too much to keep up with. How am I supposed to keep up with all this shit? I'm just gonna buy... Buy this shit on DVD. It's coming near. Look at Fish! Fish! It's gonna be a big one. Get both. Be careful with the tension. Ooh, you have all of Lost on DVD? That's cool. The Lost DVD sets are pretty neat. This one's huge! He's freaking out a little bit. Graphically, he's uh... special lure! Lodge area cleared. He's uh, Road is that his leg area. that's popping up? Cape area. Enjoy your fishing. That didn't look that didn't look right. So like the lure. Okay, let's do. Let's do this guy. So like the casting point. Yes, this was an arcade game. Yeah. yeah, I wish there was like a uh, more relaxed. Yeah, I know it's an arcade game, but if they had like a chill fish. Yeah, it's coming. Fish! Come on. Turn the rod, You're almost there. Be careful. This thing is about being hardcore. It's true. Good job. I'm bonus. Is this what it's like, like actual fishing competitions? I imagine them being chill, but pop, maybe there's, maybe it's more intense. You have to yell fish anytime you hook a fish. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see if there's different. What's original mode? I was doing arcade mode. Our tempting tasty French fries go with everything. Please enter your name. Is this just gonna be like a a, a bunch of different Amateur tournament. tournaments lined up? First stage. Is Lost like Survivor? Yeah. Like it's a lot like it. Yeah. If you like if you like Survivor, you'll love Lost. Morning. Anyone know uh, Sauna 2000? This map makes me think of Sauna 2000 a lot. Select the casting point. Bite it! Bite it! Cook it! Fish! Fish! Oh, Sonic 2000 is not a fishing game. Sonic 2000 is, uh, I think it's still in development. It's an indie horror kind of a game where you, uh, Oh, a big one! Put a... Work a sauna. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. But it's got uh, really good, really good graphics, really good sound design. It's coming near. It's gone. It's coming near. Bite! Bite! With the right. Real fishing for PS1, meditative fishing. That sounds good. I got that. Someone sent me a PS2 fishing game. I forget the name of it. Good job. I don't like this lure. 
Oh, come on, dude. Bite. Fish! Be careful with attention. Turn the rod right. Be careful. He's really leaning into it. Uh, he's really like, oh, this one's huge. Might like the River King games. Uh, my ideal fishing game would be like. Bite it. Oh, remember, remember fishing in Shinmu 3? Bite fish. I liked fishing in Shinmu 3. I liked, uh, I'd, I'd want that, but like a full game. Like you can explore and, and talk to people around the lake. And then like relax and do some fishing. Fishing Planet. Does Fishing Planet have something this besides just fishing? Cute. Like, I would need something besides just straight up fishing. I would need some context for the fishing, I think. You've got a special lure. Well, I got a special lure, so that's... Twilight Princess is a cool fishing area. Oh, Fishing Resort. That's what... Yeah, yeah, Fishing Resort. I definitely want to play that. That's the... That's on the Wii, right? Bite it. Come on, bite it, dude. Cook it, fish! It's gonna be a beautiful oh, shit. Turn the rod right. Be careful with the tension. I'm trying to be careful with the tension, okay? That's true. I have RuneScape fishing. That's true. This one's huge. <laughs> this one's huge. Oh shit. Hungry for fish and chips. Dude, I tried some uh some frozen fish from Costco recently. Was not impressed. Not impressed with anything from Costco? Well, I would I wouldn't go that far. I did. Oh. Cook it. Fish. Fish. It's honestly it's not too bad on the PC. It's a little odd that you just pick whether you're doing like a gentle reel in or a small one or a like an aggressive reel in. I wish there was a middle. Bite it. Come on, dude, bite it. Time's up. Ugh. Oh shit. Dude, I'm in first place. Noon. Select the lure. Okay, let's do straight worm. Select the casting point. I'm just really good at fishing. Sega had so much style back then. I feel like games in general had so much style around this time. Come on. No. Small one. So fucking disappointed. It's time to vote, player pass.
the straight worm? Oh, come on. Bite it! Fish! Oh yeah, no problem playing extra games. I mean, I'm not just gonna just stop totally. I, I'm here to I'm here to stream. I mean, the bingo, the. Uh, you know, the, the bingo theme is really just an excuse to give out subs and play a bunch of different games, honestly. Alright, we're passing on Sega Bass Fishing, but a pretty good port. A little, uh, little glitchy, but overall, better than I thought it would be. <laughs> People just mad that I'm so good at fishing. All right. Okay. If you have missed what's been going on today, well, I've already bingoed, uh, but we're still going. Uh, this season will go a little bit longer for the day as I uh, continue to try and get some sub drops. And if chat bingos, we'll, uh, I don't know, we'll do something. I'll figure it out. G54, finally the second G. Do you see that, G54? Yes, the next full game, we're, we will be playing Lost. Uh, the lost PC game. Well, it's it's the PC game itself is not lost, but the 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 show. Uh, where is fifty four? G fifty four. Oh, here. That's the only one. You guys just see the one? Will I ever find my way? Well, we'll see. There we go. Our tempting tasty French G54. 54. 54. Ba -ba 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 -ba. What are the special prizes? I don't know. We'll have to hit one. Honestly, one of the biggest bummers is, is not to hit one of the prizes. So I, I would like to try and hit one today. Okay. 54. Yeah, what is special prize 69? That one, that one I would be fine avoiding, actually. That one we can avoid. <laughs> Did we play this one? I don't remember. Smart Games? Smart Games 1? This one's another Windows 95. Dude. I told him to pick X things that looked like XP games. And this clearly says Windows 95 on the disc. Hey, you know, he did put in Barnyard and uh, Toonland, so there were some good choices in there as well. Glue Ghost, thank you for the $2. First time viewer, it's great to be back here. This game is the definitive fish game. I remember playing this game all the time growing up in rural South Carolina. Ha ha. Hey, by the way, has anyone ever told you that you kind of look like Macaulay Culkin uh, during high? 
Bung Bunghole. Thank you very much for the four dollars and change. Huge new season of Bingo. I can't wait. <sighs> well, it's it, we're it, it's ending. Uh, but thank you very much, Bung Bunghole. I I feel like we'll probably start another Bingo season uh, next week uh, by Friday at the latest. Surely we can get through Lost um, by next week. Surely. Glue Ghost, thank you for the prime sub. Hatless Daffodil, thank you for the $4 and change. And Killer Cat, thank you for the $3 and change. If we get a bingo, can you take us on a YouTube field trip to the Philharmonic Orchestra? It's like the instrument game, but in real life. I don't I don't know about that. I feel like that would probably get claimed, right? We'll see. I'll come up, I'll come up with something. Do I have a limit to how many seasons I, seasons I want to do? No, 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 not at all. I actually I set everything up to be it easy to get back into a new season. Uh, so the idea would be to play bingo, get to take a break and play a full game for a little bit, go back to bingo. Um, ideally. No, the good news is that it is set up to. Uh, dive back into a, a bingo season pretty pretty quickly. Who's going to claim the very deceased original composers? No, the uh, whatever orchestra is performing it. I'm pretty sure that's who tends to claim... Uh, like classical performance pieces. Yeah, I feel like I'm. I'm not sure if we played this or not. It seems familiar. Did we play Smart Games Two? Uh, my mission to identify all the possible looks a cube would display. Uh, hold on, I need to turn my fan on. I'm hot. Uh, too many buttons. There we go. This was on season one. Well, let's see if I got any smarter since then. Uh, check yes if this cube can be made from the flat view on the left. Sure. Oh, oh. Oh, wait. No. Sure. We need some jazz. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's true, 2H. Even if a song is in public domain, the performance can still get claimed. No? How do I know if I'm doing this right? No? E no. Yes. No? No. Yeah. I didn't pick all the right answers. Okay, well... I'm not smart enough for that one. Okay, actually, you know what this is starting to sound familiar. Or look familiar. God, I used to love these puzzles so much. Um... Uh, what are we doing here? There we go. You should be so bored on the internet. I miss old internet, man. Oh, the limos. 
Mountains make anyone else want to go to a parking lot? I just wish I could go park my car somewhere. <laughs> you don't miss old internet? I'm 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 I really I really miss old internet. Yeah, watering can. I I agree. I mean, and that's as someone who makes their money on the internet. Uh, it does. It was nicer before all the money showed up in a lot of ways. How underground it was. Yeah, I miss, I feel like there, there's so many people on the internet now. I miss when it was the internet was a little quieter and like pre-social network. I mean, social networks I liked. How am I gonna get this guy to move? Um, I liked social networks when it was about All connecting French fries. Go with everything with people that you actually knew. Uh, but now it's just it's just so busy. So busy. Your balls are forfeit. Thank you very much for the four dollars and change. Dude, I, I actually am glad that I bingoed on April Fool's Day. I would I probably would have been bothered by the April Fool's prank, so it was nice to be away from it. I'll go to a different smart game after this. I'll, I'll get stuck here. I'll just play this. I'll play this all day. What did I... What did I fuck up? I fucked something up. Traffic! My mission to get all the cars off the screen as soon as possible. I'll figure it out. Go! Go! Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna not play this one. I can't say I was really engrossed in traffic. My mission is to make the equation work. Using all the numbers and operators in the top line, build a sequence in the line below that blah, 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 blah. Hey, Rio, I'm always grooving, man. Wow. <laughs> wow. Watering can too. Thank you for the six dollars and change. Everyone's looking for Howie, but I'll stick with Tom. Thank you very much, Watering Can too. Getting tired from being out in the rain at work. Is it rainy right? Oh shit. Oh I thought that was the timer that went off. Okay. What are... Oh, is it just... Is it just word search? Got it. I set the timer for 15 minutes. Uh, pinata time. And at least this season, I've been good about not skipping. Even the boring ones. We're doing 15 minutes. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Found orange. Orange door hinge. Well, I skipped Fairly Odd Parents because it was broken, so. 
pink, pink, gray, black, uh, it's exciting, right? This is, uh, Do we like this more or less than the Pokemon word search? Which fairly odd parents? We played uh, Breaking the Rules, or we tried to. Okay, done with this. Oh, I did not read the rules. What the fuck is this? Awesome. Crushed it. I have six moves. Earn in points the dollar value you farm. Oh, so I'm just supposed to, like, get the most. Money. This, was, this one's not good. That one's not good. What's, what is word melt? Turn one word into another, one letter at a time, in a few, in as few as steps as possible. Each intervening, or yeah, intervening word must be a real word. Well, that's dumb. Pig. Sty. So. Pig. No points for Sig. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Our tempting tasty french fries go with everything. This is hard. Uh... Pig, big... How am I going to get to sty? Bog. Sog. Sog is not a word. Boy. Soy. Sty. Why to why not? Why? Uh, way lingo I used to love lingo I used to watch so much lingo nay nat Lingo was a game show where you tried to get bingo with lingo. You know, you got to bingo your lingos. Nag. Nog. There you go. Yeah, you can give hints. I'm not. Uh, I'm not emotionally invested in uh, <laughs> these puzzles. What's the baby? Draw a pattern at the left that will duplicate after the design. Okay, I remember. I, I'm starting to remember this. I'm starting to remember this. Uh... Shit. Sliding tiles. Doggy. Let's do marble. Marble jump sounds like it could be fun. Leave as few marbles as you can. Jump, I need three things. Just the way I do checkers. A jump or something to jump. Okay. That's true, Demacium. Uh, Twitch chat does have a... Uh, a chat roomy kind of a feel. This was a mistake. Oh, never mind. It was excellent.
Boom. Oh my god, this is like it is like being at Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Demasium. I, I, I like, I really enjoy the chat here. I can, I can crush this. That was a mistake. Shouldn't have said anything. Who's crying? Series. Uh, click on the first blank space and type in the next element of the series. Oh, good. This is fun. Oh. I'm not doing fucking math. Fuck your math. Cryptograms. Toblerone. I already solved it. Don't even I don't even need to type it in. We all know it's Toblerone. Uh Fucking save me. <laughs> save me. Eject, eject. Uh. Thank you, thank you. Get me out of here. Let's get, let's get something else. Yes, this was, uh, we did play this in, in season one. And it's going to, ha I mean, that's probably going to happen down the line, too. I'm going to forget. I didn't choose this game, to be fair. But even if I choose them, I'm going to forget what the fuck we did. We're going to have repeats. Ba -ba -ba. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for freeing me. Do I think Volume 2 is any different? I mean, it's probably got different games, but it, it can't be any better, right? It's gonna... It's just gonna be, like, the same thing but worse, right? Okay, let's see if we can't uh, do some damage here. Let's, let's see a... Uh... 17 or a 59. 38's not a bad number. What happens if I get a double bingo? Uh, nothing. I did not account for, for double bingos. G60. G60. Yeah, if I get a double bingo, I'll just quit streaming forever. Oh, hey, that's that's one of my numbers. <laughs> well, I'm on my way. How are the balls staying on the board vertically? Uh, magic. I've enchanted all of them. Any more 60s? Yeah, magnetic wood. It's how I've it's how I rigged this season too, using various magnetic woods. Uh no, there's a there's a little bit of sticky tack in each of the in each of the little things and I just smoosh it on in there. Okay, let's see what uh, let's see what game G60 is. I don't 
don't have to explain my balls to anyone. I do have to, if I have to get them to stop asking questions. Oh, we've already done this one too. I'll play it though. I liked it. Dig dug deeper. Dig dug deeper. We played this one, I think, on the last season. I told my boyfriend as he was picking games, I was like, just ask me if I've re if I've repeated, if, if I've played it before. And he was like, I'll know. <laughs> how are you going to know? How, how are you going to know? <laughs> he does not know. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Lee's BN, thank you for the $2 and change. Bingo may be over, but the hootie hunt marches ever forward. Your balls are forfeit. Thank you for the $4 and change. Four times two equals eight. Is there a reasoning to the hootie? Thank you guys so much for the donations. And Sumaru City, thank you for subscribing. Yum, yum. No, he's not. He doesn't watch me stream. He doesn't watch. I don't think he watches any of my... Uh, streams or videos that would be a uh, that'd be a deal breaker I didn't what what que what question did I not answer what I miss uh, cabbage farts thank you for the two dollars and change who do who merch win uh, I'll get back to you on that one I'll get back to you on that one is there a sense to the hoodie? Oh, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to... I I don't have to give any more hints. I've given the hint. What? Uh, let's do eight, eight by six. Hold on. I want the hint to end, but doesn't want to help you end it. That's pretty true. I mean, if I tell you where it is, that kind of defeats the point. But I can only say hootie who so many times. In a stream before I'm ready to uh, for it to everything to end, <laughs> just for it all to end. Uh, hold on, let me stop the jazz. Who do you halt? <laughs> all right. I remember this one actually being pretty fun. Yum. Level select. What's my shift? Okay, let's see if I can dig dug deeper. Oh, it's control. Then I did last time I played. Oh, fuck. We got big Dig Dug fans here. I I quite like Dig Dug. I won't say this is my favorite version of Dig Dug. I really like the uh, arcade version, but... I like... I like that this one's a little, like... It's almost gory. Satisfying game? Yeah, I agree. 
What is the lore of... I don't know. Is there lore of Dig Dug? Did they ever write lore for it? Like, why is this... Why is this the method to destroy uh, these creatures? It seems a little cruel. But maybe that's the only way... Uh, Maybe that's the only way it can be done. Do I want the donut? What is this? Shit, he's gonna get away. But I wanted the donut. Oh! When they get when they get away, they go up to the. Uh, is this the walk cycle? Wait a minute. Well, I like just kind of sliding around on the overworld. Uh, could I get a could I get a mod to? Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, we did. We played this in '98. Oh fuck. I don't mind replaying this one. The smart games didn't really care to replay. But I do like Dig Dug. Thanks, Lupin. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ah, oh, shit. Why can't... Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. I can't... Okay, now I can't. It wasn't letting me go left and right. Oh, fuck. I think it's just hard to tell... Hard to get on the the right. Oh my god! It's hard to tell if I'm on the grid. Does that make sense? If you're not exactly where you need to be, it can be hard to turn. Was the rock crush the best score strategy or not? That I don't know. Should I try a Rock Crush? Rock Crushes seem difficult to do. See, like here, I can't go left and right here. What's... What's the deal? Oh, fuck. Definitely. I think trying to make it look modern in 3D does make it a little harder to play. There we go. Like, what the fuck? I think it's... I, I don't know. I think it's fucked up. Oh, no. Fuck off, dude. I can't go up and down. I can't go up and down right now. I am going to need you to... I'm gonna need you to come up here. Were we talking about Lupin the Third? I've never seen Lupin the Third. Left! Left or right? Come on! Oh my god. Hard dog. Dig Dug is one of your preferred arcade games. Ugh. Maybe I should. Maybe if I yeah. Maybe if I watch the Tinker Bear to Dink Tink Dinker Bell tutorial again, I get. Oh my god! I think my brain is turning into mush. What a hamburger. Holy shit. Yeah, you guys know no Dinkle Bear from 
uh, Peter Pan. You guys not Peter Pan fans? There you go. I am curious if they ever wrote uh, any logic into this. Like, why we gotta go digging for creatures that are living under the ground to blow them up. For oil? <laughs> that would actually be pretty funny. Wait, so uh, wait, you, we're trying to go live underground? Is that what we're implying here? Maybe it's it's becoming... We're unable to live on the surface anymore. So we gotta look underground. We're the bad guy. We're definitely the bad guy in this story. Absolutely. We're going around exploding creatures that are just chilling underground. Maybe this is... Maybe it's like... Extermination. Like you got rodents or something, but they're dragons and whatever the... Whatever the red things are. feel really bad for the dragons. It's okay. They might... Maybe they like it. We don't know. I mean, nobody's screaming in pain or going, ah, don't... Don't explode me. dragon smile as they blow up see that means they like it i mean assuming that a dragon smiling conveys happiness uh, i've never been a dragon so i can't can't you know accurately speak to that up up dude down Fucking go down! Oh my god. This is a bad situation. Okay. okay. Anyone remember how far we got last time? I feel like we got about this far last time. You mess up the controls for Dig Dug by not... There we go. Oh. I got a little home base. I can get down there. Yippee! You should, like, make me stop on the grid. Don't let me stop in between two spaces. Or at least if I'm trying to turn, like, pick pick one. Don't let me bonk the wall. Pick one. See, I want to go in the little shop. Let me in the little shop. What's the what's that? Is that a fart? What's in what a what's the white thing in the the dirt down there? Oh, there's one over here too. Oh shit. Oh, it's gas. Oh my god. 
Oh my god! Well... You know... If we didn't, like, close the ground up, like, when we go down in here, it might not be as big of a problem. I'm feeling trapped. I'm feeling trapped. Are we digging this game? Not really. It would be good. It would be good if I could accurately change directions. They ever do a dig dug while you can where you can uh, dig diagonally? You feel conflicted watching this. How so? I feel like the blue ones you gotta uh, inflate longer. Diag dug. Oh, the poor little guys. They're fine. The game is the game is trash, I agree. It wouldn't be bad if I could again, if I could just control my I don't know how you put this game out. I don't know how you test play it and say, yeah, that'll that's good. Oh shit. Yeah, I, I feel the same way, Jimmy. Were there any like dig dug knockoffs? Anyone try and copy the Dig Dug formula? Well, I lucked out there. Mr. Do? I didn't realize that that's what you did in Mr. Do. Well, I didn't even fucking get it because of this. Oh my god, oh my god. Steam World Dig. That sounds familiar. Down. Down. I need to go down one space. I just need to go down one space. Can I dig down? Nope. He's going to get away. Oh, wait. Zigzag. Dude, I, I'm actually, you know what, I'm I'm seeing how this, they could maybe be nuisances. Like, they're, they're leaving giant mounds on, like, paved walkways. They're exploding through paved walkways. Walkways? Yeah, we better just murder them all. Yeah, exactly. And what's the deal with like the uh, the phasing through the ground? Are they teleporting? Do they have the are they the capacity to teleport? Or like there's got to be a story there. Oh shit! Time to vote. Player pass. I influenced. I influenced the vote. Uh, last vote on smart games. I'm trying not to influence any votes. What the fuck? Get me out of here. Seems like, uh, seems like it's a pass. Seems like it's a pass. Well, surprise, surprise, I gotta pee again. So I'm gonna take a pee break. 
and then we'll uh, we'll draw we'll draw some more. I'm still gonna I'm gonna keep going for another hour or so. So we still have a few, at least a few more games to play. Beep beep wee. Beep beep wee. Uh, okay, I will be right back. I'll be right back. Everybody take a little break, and uh, uh, we'll be right back. What is it? Say, what is it? Hey, why it's buttered cup? Popcorn and sweet cream butter to hot popcorn. Mix it up, wrap it up, buttercup is born. It's delicious. So nutritious. It's a taste delight. It's so munchy. Crisp and crunchy. You'll enjoy each bite. Eat butter drenched buttercup popcorn at its best. Served in a king-size cup. It beats all the Our tempting, tasty french fries go with everything. ready for a little more bingo. There's still bingos to be had and games to be seen, but only if we draw another number. Sixty-five. Oh, sixty-five. That is one of yours. Just the one. I just see the one. What? What? What color you guys want? Not that it. Not that it super matters, but. Uh, Piss or pink? Piss, I guess. I mean, that's what you guys want. <laughs> I, 
feel like the I feel like the yellow's drying up or something. I need to uh I need to get a pad of paper over here just to prime them a bit better. Okay. Let's uh Oh, 65. Oh, 65. Yeah, right. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Let's get situated here. Our tempting, tasty french fries go with everything. Get out of here. Go for the world record now? I don't know about that. Sixty-five is... Zumbini's Island Odyssey. It's on some weird after-school clubhouse disc. So let's install Zumbini's Island Odia. Uh, Adventure? Odyssey? I already forgot it. What up, Sarbear? Bingo's going pretty well. You know, I would maybe change one or two things, but overall, uh, hard to complain too much. Oh, do I just run it? I don't have to install it? Okay, now it's going to install. <laughs> Uh, the Tick Cartoon. Thank you for the $2 and change. Uh, Hootie Who here on MJ's stream debut anniversary. Twisted Lucario, thank you for the $3 and change. What's your favorite Pokemon? Uh, also, Hoot Hoot Toot Toot. Uh, what is my favorite Pokemon? Uh... uh... I like Meowth. Meowth is pretty good. Skitty. Skitty's a great... Skitty is a great Pokemon. Yes, we did vote for the winning game. We will be playing Lost. I guess we'll start it on Friday? We'll just have to see. I'll either start it on Friday or um, on Monday. And then after we finish Lost, we will start another round of bingo. Archaic Realm, thank you for the four months. Silver Wuffamute, thank you for gifting that sub. Sam Dub one thank you for the $4 and change. Just wanted to give you a congrats Yum. on your win. Very much looking forward to Lost. I think Lost is going to be a bunch of fun, actually. So what are we streaming Friday? Uh, did I not just say... We're, we, I might be starting Lost. We'll just have to see. Killer Cat, thank you for the $4 and change. I have nothing to say. And Bite Fennec, thank you for the $2 and change. Hootie, thank you very much. We'll probably do uh, some more Bingo XP. We'll probably do a, at least one more season of Bingo XP. It depends on how fast we get through them. But since there's a lot of games we didn't even get to, I feel like it'd be easier to just dive back in for some more. Yeah, I, I'm either doing Lost Friday or Monday. Um, but beyond that, I don't. I have no idea. Glad you're enjoying it, Sasaruga. 
Do we know if the Lost game has spoilers for the show? I have no idea. I've never seen the Lost game, so I don't, I don't really know what to expect. Hold on, let me finish uh, pounding this applesauce. Before we get started, I need a little bit of food. Well, if it's Monday, not Friday, then what would the plan for Friday be? Uh, maybe bingo leftovers? I, I really don't know. I, I don't think that far ahead. I thought we were going to be playing bingo at least through the week. So we'll just see what happens on Friday. Mm. Fan mail is not a bad idea because I do have a pile of boxes ready to be opened. All right. What is your name? Find it on the list or type it in. What is my name? I. A. N. Special Mario. We probably won't do Mario Party on Friday. We finished Not Friday Night Mario Party. Ago, Zumbini Isle was a paradise. Home to the happy Zumbinis, who shared their land with the moths that pollinated the snozzleberry bushes that produced fruit for the gentle zerbos. I don't like any of this. But then the blows arrived. Okay, these guys seem cool. The Zumbinis and overran their ancestral home. Reluctantly, the Zumbinis fled, but the blows stayed on, leaving a path of ruin and destruction wherever they went. The <laughs> once abundant supply of food had dwindled down to nothing, leaving the moths desperate. And so, one day, the moths? they left. Were the moths important? Eventually, the bloats, having depleted mm, Zumbini Isle of its natural resources, abandoned it in search of new lands to plunder. And it was that day that a daring seagull decided that something must be done. Is that me? Am I the seagull? Race to Zumbiniville, the Zumbini's new home to share the dreadful news. The brave Zumbinis assembled a scouting party said goodbye to their loved ones, and set off. The Zumbinis arrived at Zumbini Isle and gasped at the devastation. The absence of moths had broken the chain of life necessary to sustain the plants and zerbals on the isle. Okay, so the plants eat the moths, got it. Home ...to explain their plan. In order to reverse the catastrophic damage on by the bloats and revive the chain of life, the Zumbinis would have to return to Zumbini Isle. Each one carrying. Would you want to be a, a roller skate Zumbini or a spring Zumbini or a propeller Zumbini? To proceed. Or like a shoe, a Shumbini. Okay, so. Uh, uh, 112. Am I design? Am I making me? Is this my Zumbini? I like the Howie hat. My squirting sunglasses. Gotta have the squirt glasses on. I'm gonna be, uh, I feel like these are the most, uh, Unfortunate looking zoom bean. I'm gonna go with roller skate. Oh, do I have to make like a bunch of them? <laughs> there we go. There's that Zumbini team spirit. The 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 Squirt Squad. <laughs> they call us the Squirt Squad. Across the treacherous sea they did sail. 
to encounter a catapult made of iron, wood, and nails. Do you, now, my question is, do you need, uh... Do I need certain Zumbinis for certain, uh... Yum, yum. Like purposes? Because if so... Uh... Having all of the same Zumbini... Did I do... Did I have this... Did I already do this? Did I make the same mistake before already? What am I supposed to do here? I feel like I did this before, with maybe with a different game. Like a different Zumbini game. Mud balls and heavy boulders can be carried along the gear machine and dropped on the catapult paddle. However, only a boulder is heavy enough to activate the trigger and send a Zumbini to the top of the cliff. Each of the gears in the machine. Okay. See what this does. How do I get that? Oh, there we go. Here we go. I remember dressing up for as a Zumbini for a video. I don't really remember anything else about that video. Oh, this one's gonna miss. Oh, wow. Remember watching my old Zumbinis video as a kid and now you're in college. Well, that's exciting. Good luck with your studies. I can't, when did I, does it, anyone look up when I made that video? That video was, it's gotta be seven plus years. Seven years ago, ooh. Ooh. So was that the last video I made? I haven't really uploaded a video in seven years, so. Those Zumbinis that miss the catapult ride will get their chance soon. Okay. What's with the mud? The threw mud in Peter Pan. Mud in your eye? Is this just an advanced version of mud in your eye? I don't like that, 2 age. <laughs> what are people going to be saying in 30 years? How do I move on? Oh, okay. Uh, do the Zumbinis help or? Oh, watching me from the retirement home. I'm gonna be streaming from the retirement home. Corn dogs. By the time, uh, by the time we're all getting old. They're, the retirement homes are going to be suited up for streaming. All all the grandparents out there are going to be like, I want, uh, I want my streaming set up. Oh wait, that was this one. It's like the the cool cuts place I was talking about, where you get the haircut but you play the video games. It's going to be that, but retirement home. Oh. <laughs> 
retirement home featuring bingo XP. Maybe they'll let me use the bingo hall. You know, maybe they'll let me do the full production. Maybe I could just read the, I would be, I could just read the bingo numbers. I would do that. The gamer is here. Uh, MJ should MJ should not check out the bingo the lounge. Was no match for the wit of the Zumbinis. One of the great uh, things about this current bingo setup is that MJ cannot access the lounge now form their cocoons and the zumbinis hope they would become moths fairly soon they had repaired the first link of the chain wait that brought life. hold on i was watching my cat did the zumbinis become moths and at night the zumbinis turn into the moths and then the moths are the base of the food chain so they all all zumbinis want to become moths they're carrying worms. Okay, they brought worms. Okay. Sorry, I was watching my cat. Uh, here, you can go... What am I doing here? The Zumbinis arrive at the planetarium to help speed up the metamorphoses of caterpillars into moths. The caterpillars are now in their cocoons. The cocoons are safely stored in the crystals beneath the large clock that divides the two exhibits. The exhibit on the left displays the Earth as it rotates on its axis. What? While the exhibit on the right, below the exhibits are several coins. And the number on each coin tells you how many hours it will move the time forward. Place coins into the slots to change the exhibit. I don't understand. So each one will be positioned to match the time shown on the large clock. If you are successful, a hatch above the exhibit will open to reveal. Okay, so I have coins. And I gotta. What am I matching? Uh, here, I'll just put four in here. Did that. Does anybody know what we're doing here? Or... Uh... Balancing time with the hours. So make the time three on both. Three AM. Okay. Okay. Uh... How? So. <laughs> so I'm. S Hold on. Wait. Oh, wow. So I'm supposed to know the rotate. Okay, I got one. You're supposed to know the rotation of the planet. Like what the rotation of the planet is like at 3 a.m. Is that. Is that what I'm supposed to know? Like what? I'm just gonna keep putting coins in until I get moths. There we go. This was this was for third graders. There we go. I got another one. I got another moth. I 
I, uh... <laughs> Worry not. The pupae that did not hatch will remain safe in the incubator. What about the poopy? What, uh... Anyway. But what's this? Not enough moths to continue. More moths will be needed to pollinate the snozzleberry's seedlings. Well, yeah, everybody knows that. Everybody knows you need to get more moths to populate the snozzleberry seedling seedlings. Okay, so I'm just gotta like, I'll just do this, and then I'll just bring whatever I get up. I mean, I can just brute force this shit. I'm supposed to do that on the last bathroom break. Oh, that seemed quick. It's time to vote play or pass. This one's pretty, this is the easiest room so far. The wall beep, 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 beep. Oh, we're passing? We're passing. No love for the, no love for the zoom beanies. Rip, rip, zoom beanie. Well, we can always play more uh, left on the leftover stream. What? Did you guys hear from our co-host there? And away she goes. That was the uh, MJ update. You out. Yeah, she came in to call me a cheater. Didn't hear other music. It's, uh... She's also... She doesn't like to meow when the mic gets close. She, uh, gets pressured. Okay, let's... Pull another number. Oh, 62... Oh, 62. Oh, boy. It's number 62. Survey says... One on the medium sub drop. Getting closer. Sure, I'm using the piss yellow a lot, but... I didn't use it much day one, so it, it kind of breaks up the, the rest of the colors. It is a fan favorite. That's that's a good way to that's a good way to put it. Well, we're getting closer to one of the sub drops. Sixty-two. We really haven't even... I mean, we haven't even gotten halfway through all the numbers. Really just unpredictable uh, with how long... You, you know what's going to happen? Is I'm going to make some changes and next season I'll try and make the game go longer and it's going to go way too long. And people are going to go, oh, it's going too long. Hold on, I gotta turn off all the 
winner's lounge lights. Dude, these lamps really burn through the watch batteries. I need to find a new way to light the lamps because I don't like changing so many batteries. You like yellow? Yellow's okay. It's, it's not my favorite. But I could, I, I might warm up on it someday. I didn't used to like orange, and orange is a favorite now. Battery plug-in packs they use for old Game Boys. I have, uh... I have DC power suppliers for, like, like double A operated stuff. I don't think there's one for watch. Is there one for watch batteries? I looked, I didn't see one. Used to hate orange, now you're like, yeah, I'm the same way. Rechargeable watch batteries. I still gotta swap them though. I used to have to, uh, swap out more batteries, but I replaced all of them except for the the lamps. You like your pastels? You do like your pastels, Lupin. I like uh, solid black. What? Uh, 62? 62. Oh, good. Stuart Little 2, everybody's favorite uh, mouse that skateboards. I don't think I saw Stuart Little 2. I definitely saw the first one a lot. We had the first one on VHS. Get me out of the Zumbini land. I still think that seemed like a pretty intense puzzle game for third and fourth graders, but I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just dumb. He has a bird girlfriend in the second one. How does that work? I did not see the new Smiling Friends episode, but I, I did hear about it. Wandering Stars, thank you very much for the four months. Ayla Rosebuds. Uh, thank you for the $2 and change. Thanks for being some chill company three days a week. Hey, no problem. Thanks. Thank you guys for being uh, chill companies three days out of the week. Oh, wait. Hold on. We got installation music. Uh, thank you very much, Rosie. This is some lovely lovely install music Claire Ella 28 thank you very much for the seven months hi Ian happy to catch another stream I remember watching your old zoom beanies video as a kid and now I'm in college thank you so much Claire young sango 13 thank you for the three dollars and change hoot hoot and funky little P Jun thank you for the six months so excited to catch bingo XP give MJ a smooch for us I will uh, next time I see her she, there's too much going on for her. She's, uh, she's worried about all the things happening. Uh, yeah, I want that shortcut. Absolutely. Never register. No readme file. Fuck the readme file. I don't want to read. Might lose power here. Is it because Stuart Little is so powerful? Yeah! This is not what I remember Stuart Little getting up to. Oh, oh, okay. Hyperspace Cowgirls. I don't like him. My name's Stuart. What's yours? I don't know that I want you to know my name, Stuart. 
free play. High score. Free play. High scores. Bonus scout. Story mode. How hard do you want the game to be? Hot. Me hot medium. Easy. Medium. Hard. 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 How hard do you want the game to be? Hard. 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 Me. Wow, what a wild ride home from school. First, a beautiful little bird falls from the sky into my car. And now, a big, angry-looking falcon is after us. It's gonna take some fancy driving to get us back home safely. Okay. Is, I, I mean, you did say that... Whatever you want to learn about. You did say that he was dating a bird now. Is that Danny Phantom? Is it Danny Phantom? Uh, Margolo and I need to get home. Try to avoid all obstacles in the road because they'll collect the turbo booster, pick up flowers, to pick up fruits to get more points. Watch out for obstacles in the road. They'll slow you down. How am I going to know so I pick up the food but not the other food? Watch out for Falcon. He'll try to drop stuff on you and slow you down. Welcome to Daredevil Driving. Oh. Did it just... Hold on. Did it change... Click, click on whatever you want. Did it change resolutions in the middle of the game? Or... Please in my eyes. Okay. It's all fixed now. I've got this cool hot tip. Well, it's a cool hot tip. It's cool and hot. So if there's flashing and uh, your eyes hurt, um, you could look elsewhere until the issue is resolved. It's a crazy strategy. Um, we've uh, There's also these cool things called eyelids. And like they, if you, if you think about it, they like roll, they're like little shutters to close your eyes. I know when the screen is flashing, it's so tempting to be like, ow, my eyes, my eyes, Ian, ow, my eyes, ah, my eyes. But we could try, like, one of those. Maybe one of these. Click here. Let's go. <laughs> Shut up, Ian. Okay, here we go. Oh, the speed limit is here. Holy shit. <laughs> nice job. Ah! What's with the sound of the engine? Nice job. Is that what it's supposed to sound like? Keep your eyes on the road. How is that fair? Please the, play the GBA version. It's really good. I mean, is it better than this? It can't be better than this. Listen to that realistic engine. She really purrs, you know? Yeah! Great driving! Thank you. So, do I even need to watch the movie at this point? Or am I kind of getting the message just with the gameplay? Put the pedal to the metal! Yeah, what's with all the fruit on the road? Fuck off, birds. Why do the birds not like me? The birds don't like me. Speed limit is, here. is it because I'm with a bird? His name is Margolo. I'll ask my folks if she can stay with us for a while. I like her. I don't like that falcon, though, do you? I don't like anybody in this oh, game. Oh, no. My mother's diamond ring is missing. It may have fallen down the sink drain. I'm going to go down there and see if I can find it. Hope I don't get lost. 
Why doesn't mother just check the pee trap? Just, just take the pipe. Don't send your son into the fucking sink. Click on whatever you want to learn about. Uh, the last video did not get Disney copyright claimed, at least not yet. Sometimes it does take a while with longer videos, but so far, so good. These are switches that change the direction of the pipes. By using the enter key, I can turn the switch and move the pipes. Jump over the bad guys or you'll lose health points. You can't move through the pipes if broccoli's in your way. <laughs> if you found a plunger, you can press the enter key and the plunger <coughs> will get rid of the broccoli. Excuse me. <laughs> Pick up fruits to get more points. Collect the blue and red flowers. Down the drain I go. I see, okay. Wow! The enter key will make me use my handy dandy plunger. That's how plungers work. Yep. Dude, it does make me a little bit hungry for broccoli. I really like broccoli. Way to go! Thank you. These are some really tiny apples. What's the story with the tiny apples? Yikes! Here we go, some plunger action. Yeah. They're straw. Oh yeah, they are little strawberries. They look like apples to me. My lucky day. When I stop the screen moving, then I can see the little specks. Well, what about the watermelon, though? That's definitely watermelon. Nice job! Hey! How do I j oh, okay. How do I... Okay, jump with space. It just takes a second. Do they put little doll clothes on him? Is that... Is that where they... Do they get, like, Ken doll clothes to put on Stuart? I hear plumbers can make a pretty good living. Who, which one of them requested the, Ow. was Stuart like, hey, I'm naked, I need clothes? Or was the family like, hey, if you're gonna live here, you need to put on some fucking pants, Stuart. Phew. I was lost for a while, but thanks to my new friend, I got out safely. My mother's ring wasn't in the drain. I wonder where it is. The family was embarrassed. Falcon is bird napped Bartolo and he's got her at the top of the Pishkin building. I've got to get pants there. at the orphanage. I forgot he was at an orphanage. A small mouse, but his dad always says you're as big as you feel. I forgot how they met. I forgot that the, that he actually got adopted. It's, it's all coming back to me now. I haven't seen Stuart Little in quite some time. I think I have it on VHS. Peripheral 1994, thank you very much for Click subscribing. Whatever you want to learn about. Jump to balloons with fruit on them and collect points. If a window opens, watch out. So move toward the fireflies. They'll protect your balloon as long as watch out for bees. Pick up flowers. I move toward to the fireflies. Welcome to balloon jump. Oh my god. Oh, I see. I jump. How do I grab a grab the balloon, Stuart? Boy, this is a tall building. So look out below. Fucking Imagine you're a kid in an orphanage and a family comes in and adopts a rodent over you. Maybe that would inspire you to, uh, you know, get it together. You gotta step up your, uh, please adopt me pitch. Wasn't it the, the little, the little kid? Was he like, let's get the rat? Or was it the parents were like, actually, we want the rat? Oh. Exterminator origin story. Man, 
Man, that bee must have been nearsighted. Were they all out of kids? Maybe they had like an adoption event and everyone came and adopted all the kids. Yeah, the kid hated him. That does sound familiar. Does this building ever end? I remember they they bonded over their boats. Remember the power boats? And I found Margolo, but Falcon is here too, and he won't let her leave. I have to figure out a way to rescue her, because when you're a friend of mine, you're a friend for life. What if the bird commits unspeakable crimes? I'll Falcon away from Margolo so she can escape. You still friends? Then I can use my model airplane to fly away. Yes, this it was the same kid from the vampire movie. The little vampire. I have a feeling that that guy probably did. It probably didn't translate to a long lasting film career. How long do mice live? Well, in Stuart Little 3, they, you know, they, he, he's dead in Stuart Little 3. And it's uh, all about them planning his funeral. And I think it was five years, th four or five years after they adopted him. Pick up all the pieces of the airplane so you can put it together. Pick up fruits to get more points. Pick up flowers to get more health. Once you've found all the pieces of the plane, you'll discover my mom's diamond ring and win this game. Click here. Welcome to... Wait, I, I missed something. How did the ring get... I thought the ring was down the drain. Nice job. He died in the sink. He died in the sink trying to get mom's ring. Ray, another plane part. Oh, this is some some smooth <laughs> some smooth skateboarding gameplay. Holy shit, I'm gonna die. Awesome. Leave me alone, Tobias. What the fuck is that? Fuck off! <laughs> that kind of hurt. Ray, <laughs> another plane part. Oh my god. The uh, controls here. If you can't tell by my extremely smooth movements. The controls aren't, like, amazing. Red. Oh, are all movie games so bad? I mean, we played the Barnyard game. The Barnyard game was awesome. I squirted all over all those women and children. Just squirting. What a great view! Oh, how the fuck do I get up there? Ooh. I think I'm gonna die. What happens if Stuart Little gets mauled to death? Ray, another plane part. Would I adopt Stuart Little? Fuck no. Absolutely not. Ray, another plane part. Ray, another plane part. Once you found all the pieces of the plane. Ray, another plane part. Get up, get up there. You're gonna die, dude. Where's that ring? Oof. So far, so good. Falcon could The game is just marketing ploy by Big Fruit. It does make me want like an apple. I guess I, I guess I just ate some apple, huh? Margolo is safe for now, and I've got Mom's diamond ring back. But good time. Have to make it home safely. And here comes that evil Falcon. Time to vote. Click on whatever you want. I do really like the uh, the music for voting. Music cue for voting has been a, a, a I, an enjoyable addition for me at least this season. Be pass. Uh, I just want to remind you guys that. Number one is play, 
And to play more, you type P-L-A-Y in the chat, just in case anyone's forgotten. Thanks, Lupin. <laughs> Fax Stuart Little. You got a problem with mice? Fine, I see how it is. Why was the bird sexy? I think that's a personal... I think that's something you need to ask yourself. Uh, I don't think I can help you with that one. Time for bingo. G49. We're finally getting all the G's. Wait. Wait. G49. G49. Oh. Well. I know who's that. Ooh, that actually is good for the large sub drop, actually. It's uh, getting us close to one of those. Uh, let's just uh, stick with the piss yellow theme for the day. Boom. Oh, wait. I can't have yellow next to yellow. Can't have that. Use the green. There we go. I mean, we're so close to other bingos. We're so close. G49. Okay. Oh, I actually wanted to check this one out. This one is the uh, hidden object. There's two different him hidden object games, the White House and Ancient Mysteries. I want to check out the White House because I just think that's a really funny location of a hidden object game. Hold on, I got to get out of here. Die, Stuart. How do I crash the plane? Die. Die. Get out of here, Stuart. Been really getting into I Spy and I Spy games lately. I'm I, I'm not a huge fan of the I Spy games, really. They're okay, but I do quite like the hidden object genre in general. I prefer ones that have stories to them a little a little bit. Oh yeah, Pokemon Team Turbo was a fan favorite. Four of your games. Which were the other three? You need to clean your apartment for a date tomorrow. Get cleaning. Hop two. Why aren't you cleaning now? Clean that shit up. Look over there. Look at all that shit. Clean that, clean that shit up. Filthy. 
Pokemon, Bass Fishing, and Toonland. I think it was the copy you sent, Freddy. Man, I've been I've been tired. Yes, like I said, uh, yesterday I got I went out and planted some grass. A little more uh, demanding than I expected. Even though I did my whole lawn <laughs> last year, I forgot. More pea fuel? No, no. This is my last. This is my last pea fuel. If I get another, I'm gonna like. Uh, I'm gonna. I don't know. I'm gonna collapse. Do I ever rest? Yeah, yeah. I rest. I mean, you know, it depends on it depends on your definition of rest. Like, sometimes I'm resting and my boyfriend's like, you're not actually resting. You're working on something. And I'm like, but the, it's like the same. Th you can do both at the same time. Yeah, active resting. I'm not often just sitting doing nothing. I don't know. I'm not good at that. I, I sleep. I rest when I'm asleep. That that counts, right? Resting is not being productive at all. Well, I do that in a, in a sleep, when I'm asleep. Oh my god, it's cartoon? Hold on. Please tell me you don't work in your sleep. Just wait till hypnospace becomes... When hypnospace becomes real, I will work in my sleep. Uh, I do, to get myself to fall asleep, I do think about work to relax myself. <laughs> um, there's just a lot to be done. There's a lot to be done. Always something to do. Uh, I need to change. I think we need a bigger screen for this. Hold on. Uh, okay, let's do... Now look away. Look away, everybody. Don't look at the screen. I'll tell you when it's fine to look at the screen. Don't look. Oh, actually, it might be fine. But still don't look until I'm positive. Okay, you can look. You can look. I hope your eyeballs are okay. We ignite fun. <laughs> Great. Okay. What if we just played Barnyard and got some squirts in? We'll have to do that on the... Uh, on the leftover stream. Can I get full screen? There we go. Much better. What's up, Stell? Are you supposed to be in history class right now? Oh my god, it's voice active. Oh my god, you haven't heard? Heard what? Mr. Barry started letting students blab on the phone while I teach his history? <laughs> I doubt that. Miranda, class was canceled. It's Mr. Barrett. He's... Um, hey, Stella, I gotta go. Miranda Hunt, I'm Special Agent Hartman. He's Special Agent Tucker. Secret Service. Let's take a little ride. Okay. You know what? I have no idea what a real Secret Service badge looks like. <laughs> Yours looks really shiny, but I'm not about to hop in a car with you. Um, what exactly does the Secret Service want with me anyways? Or is it a secret? Ma'am, you might want to rethink the snarky attitude. Your pal Professor Barrett is missing. We believe you had something to do with it. Let's go. I was not being snarky. Where are you taking me? That depends on your answers. Where were you last night, Miranda? Studying. I'm a student. Anyone see me not all the same age? I was in my room, alone, as usual. So no alibi then. You actually have a file on me? We have a file on everyone. You are no ordinary student, are you, Miranda? Your professors say you're brilliant. 
They have high hopes for you, especially Henry Barrett. He's kind of your mentor, is that right? He's my history professor and a dear friend. If he's missing, I want to help find him. I hope we did it. I hope we did it real bad. Just what we had in mind, Miss Hunt. We know you've assisted the professor on his field work. You helped him find that shipwreck. The Phantom? Right. You know more about his work and his crackpot theories than anyone else. We're taking you to the White House to assist our investigation. He was working on something at the White House? That was the professor's last known location. That's A lot of exposition. Turn the car around. What for? Professor Barrett keeps a work journal every time he starts a new project. We need to find it. The best place to look is back at his office. All right, Miss Hunt, we'll try this your way for now. You heard the girl. Turn around. Why didn't I get to do voice acting for this? I feel like I would have been a good choice. It's all clear. You can come in now, ma'am. Oh, no. For the, the role of place? Miranda. Someone tore this place apart. Let's hope they didn't find what they were looking for. Look around and see if you can find any clues. Out of hints, I think I'll be fine. Number shows how many hints left. Okay. Click on the inventory tab to switch from the item list to inventory. Item list. Click on an item to preview. Okay. Oh my god. Blah, 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 blah. Another location. Blue items are more hidden than usual. Pink texts are not located in current view of the room. And then I've got a journal. Professor Barrett, his office looks is a mess. Well, okay. I thought I'm like, there's so many books. How am I supposed to know? This is Henry's journal. That strange. That strange. All of the pages have been torn out. He probably did it himself to prevent whoever made this mess from finding them. I better look around and see if any missing pages were left behind. Okay, telescope, jade earrings. Not really a very packed visual, you know? Camera bag, journal page. Oh my God, we read the journal page. To the general public, Freemasons are an innocent fraternal organization, but when powerful men meet in secret without public oversight, it's easy to imagine the worst. Freemasons literally created our country and continue to exercise their control with impunity. No one seems able or interested in holding them accountable aside from a mass of unorganized crackpots such as yours truly. Its membership includes the most powerful and wealthiest men of America, presidents, and leaders of the world. Washington, Jackson, Roosevelt, FDR, Truman, Ford. Okay. Uh, easel. Lemur. Got to get the lemur. I mean, the FBI is going to need that. Camera. Henry's camera. Man, he must be the worst photographer in photographic history. Interesting. It's full of photos of the White House. That is, the ones that aren't of his thumb. He must have been keeping a visual log of his work. I'll take this with me. It could come in handy. Well, maybe the thumb was part of the mystery. Camera bag, telescope, liberty. <laughs> it's a picture of his thumb, guys. What else would he be taking pictures of? Come on. Dear Miranda, 
I know what you think of my conspiracy theories, but if you do a little research, even the most outlandish theories begin to take on an edge of believability. If, you are re if you're reading this now, I fear I may now be the victim of the most outlandish conspiracy of all. We must find it before they do. Does this have anything to do with a thumb or a telescope? Yeah, we are Miranda, yes. Jade statue. Oh, is that not a jade statue? Is this a jade statue? Okay. Camera bag. Okay. I, I mean, it's just a regular bag. That display case on the bookshelf is a really odd piece of furniture, even for Henry. Come to think of it, he once told me the other missing busts that belong in the case were all lost in the White House somewhere. I don't know why he thought it was so important, but now that he's missing, I can't discount anything that might be a clue. What was the, what was the, what's the, you, what your, which Nick Cage movie? It's what the, what's the name of that? National Treasure? Sorry, uh, my brain was... I was trying to come up with the name of the movie. I never saw National Treasure. <laughs> Wicker Man. That's what I was thinking of. Fun, stupid movie? I never saw it. Bust. Where's the bust? Oh, this one's even more hidden. What'd they say? It's even more hidden than uh, the... Does that mean I can move things? What does that mean? It's fun. I don't know that I'll see... I don't know that I'll ever see National Treasure. It, doesn't, it just doesn't seem that interesting to me. Hammer, Spotlight... Fun fact. Electric lights. 23rd president of the United States, Benjamin Harrison, had the White House wired for electricity, but he and his wife refused to touch the switches for fear of electrocution. That's why I don't I don't touch light switches for the exact same reason. Face off? I've never seen face off either. Do I always play XP games? No, no, I do not. Um, but that is what I'm playing now. Dreamcatcher. I knew a kid in preschool who got electrocuted by a light switch in class. See, that's why you don't touch light switches. Some of these aren't even XP, some are 95 and 98. I feel like if it runs on the XP computer, it I, I kind of count it. We had issue running some 98 stuff on the 98 machine. <laughs> Hammer. What's with the... Am I supposed to open things? You seem a bit lost. Don't attract the attention of those Secret Service agents. If you're stuck, try clicking on the item name to see a silhouette. Okay, well that didn't... Oh, it was just in a drawer. I almost won XP Gamer of the Year award last year. I did, it's true, I almost did. I see what you're saying, 2H. Do I think I'm, I'm the most popular Windows 98 XP streamer on Twitch? I would be fine not being that. 
It's locked. I, I know for a fact Henry keeps the key with him at all times. There must be... There must... There must to be something in all this mess I can use to break the lock. Don't worry, I got it. Microscope helmet, scarab, arrow, sphinx skull. Fun fact! The scarab beetle was an important ancient Egyptian symbol of renewal and resurrection. It's not as fun as the electrocution fact, but it, it is a fact. Fun fact! Freemason President Theodore Roosevelt was the only president to kill a cougar with a knife. I mean, that we know of. Uh, okay, what are we looking for here? Fun fact! Freemasons use complex symbolism to describe their moral doctrines. The square and compass are their most recognizable emblems. The square and compass are simple tools of stonemasons from which the Freemasons organization originated. In Masonic teachings, the meaning behind this symbol is a reminder to square one's actions by the square of virtue and circumscribe one's desires and keep one's passions within due bounds. Okay. I still like the electrocution fact the most. They should tell me more about uh, getting electrocuted. Helmet. Where's the what kind of game is this? It's hidden objects at the White House. You know, this is how. It, well, we're not even at the White House. <laughs> Was Sonic a Freemason? Who can never be sure? Where is all this shit? I feel like I don't see... Oh. Everything's so tiny. I need the microscope to see... the items. Is this a helmet? It's so tiny. There's a head of some sort. Uh, Sphinx skull arrow arrow oh is that not a <laughs> just it just didn't click it right get better eyes I can't I can't they're getting worse and worse helmet sphinx skull uh Get better glasses. I should do that. Oh, shit. Well, we know what time that what time it is. It's time to vote. That was quick. The intro uh, of these games really eats uh, time. Tangled in my cables over here. Ooh, close race. Close race going on between play and pass for this one. Oh, there's this. Is that not the Sphinx? Are we sure that's not the Sphinx? Uh. Oh, that's the Sphinx. Helmet, skull. Uh, oh, there's the helmet. Where the fuck is the 
skull. This is so boring to you. We got uh, hidden object games are a favorite around here. Looks like we're playing for another 15. Insanity is the only explanation. Ah! What did I just do? Oh, nothing. But why though? I don't know. We like, we like, we just like the hidden objects. Do you guys see the skull? Like, don't tell me where it is, but do you see the skull? You see it? Why don't I see it? That's true. It's no Gormania. That is true. I mean, I'm assuming this is not a skull. It looks not quite like a skull to me. This is not a skull. That's a skull? Oh my god. I suppose the journal will help a little. I think I better keep it a secret for now. At least until I understand what's really going on here. Oh, Henry. What the heck did you get yourself into this time? Find anything? Yes and no. Nothing that sheds any light on what this is all about. Then let's head over to the White House. You can come back to the professor's office later on if you need to. I, I think I should have voiced all these characters. Um. Wow, what happened in this room? It looks like an antique shop exploded. Please don't use words like exploded in the White House. It makes us kind of edgy. Chill, dude. Uh, was well chosen. What you see here is the handiwork of your dear friend, uh, Professor Barrett. He left many rooms in a similar state of chaos. Well, Don't say the word chaos in the White House, okay? It makes us uneasy. Miranda Hunt, meet Ronald R. Chow, White House curator. You'll be working together from now on. I don't understand. What was Henry doing here? Uh, Professor Barrett volunteered his services to the curator's office to help us find and catalog important artifacts that have been misplaced over the years. I guess with 6,000 visitors a day, not to mention all the reconstruction efforts, it makes sense that a few things have gotten lost. Well, I'm, I'm glad you understand. Unfortunately, he vanished before he could complete his work and left things in such a sorry state that we had to close the White House to the public. This guy, this is how it would sound if I did the lines. History and your tutelage under Professor Barrett makes you the ideal candidate to continue his work. What? Oh, no. Look, all I want to do is find Henry and go home. And what better way to find him than to retrace his steps, hmm? But... Face it, Miranda. You're the best person for the job. This isn't actually a request, honey. I will provide you with lists Don't call of me missing honey. items. And when you're done, give me a call and I'll send you another one. Do I have a choice? No. no. Dude, I'm not helping for shit. What if I just don't do anything? What if I just fucking stand here? I can't just stand here. I have to work on something. I mean, there's really nothing I can do but uh, start cleaning up. Silver teapot. Flint lock. Oh, wait. Teapot fact. Famous patriot Paul Revere was a master silversmith and a grand master mason. These facts are getting less fun. We started off with an electro ele electrocution fact. And the facts have been getting less and less fun uh, as time goes on. Spark plug, wicker jug. Uh, is there a journal page? Moccasins. Why is there a frog in the White House? I mean, I've never been to the White House. For all I know, there's frogs everywhere. I don't know. Um, pedestal journal page. There's the journal page. There's the journal page page is that the deck is that just the declaration of independence or something 
Maybe that's not a journal. That's some other unrelated piece of paper that just looks like a journal page. Uh, uh, pedestal seems like it should be easy to see. What's with all the floppy disks? Uh, oh, there's a big thing here. Butterfly... Flintlock basket. Is that a basket? Okay. Is that a spaceship? Yeah, it's the White House's spaceship. It's for if the president has to, like, run into space for whatever reason. Spark plug pedestal journal page. Looks like a lamp. Is that a pedestal? I don't know. I mean, I know what a pedestal is, but... Sometimes I'm having to click these items twice. I have to point out that... What the fuck was that? Oh, spark plug? Oh, yeah. Should I, I be collecting the hints? Pedestal. Oh, it's back there. Why is the knight wearing a nighty? Well, I don't know. It seems appropriate. It seems appropriate to me. Oh. Journal page. How is this not the journal page? Oh, that's cheap. Dear Miranda, if you are reading this, you've probably made it to the White House. Sorry for involving you in this mess, but you were the only one I could trust. Uh, please continue to search for the journal pages I've hidden. They will help you follow my trail. If you forget something important, return to the journal and review. I write these things down so I don't have to remember them. Note, if you are not Miranda Hunt, please stop reading immediately and give the pages to her at your earliest convenience. It's very rude to read another person's journal, you know. I don't trust this guy. I don't trust this guy. I think this guy's going to be the bad guy all along. Birdcage, yellow vase, lunch -a box. Oh shit. It looks like this bust would fit perfectly on Henry's shelf. I guess this proves his theory, which means there are more left to find, and they could be just about anywhere. So I'm collecting. My overarching goal is to collect busts. Okay, fun fact. General Ford, or yeah, Gerald Ford. Speaking about the school lunch bill, President Gerald Ford was quoted saying, I strongly support the feeding of children. <laughs> uh, he ascended to the rank of 33rd degree Master Mason. Well, this may be a... Uh, uh, controversial stance, but I also strongly support the feeding of children uh, to any, like, hungry beast that is, uh, you know, needs uh, sustenance. Uh, Bowie knife, sex, butterfly, dragon, car. Is that a car? Dragon. Oh, little cat. Meow. Dragon. 
You'd think a dragon would be easy to find. Is that a dragon? Okay, Bowie knife I think is the only th Oh wait, no. These are this is going to come in handy for sure. Fun fact. Manacles, Jefferson owned 187 slaves, and yet he was an outspoken detractor of slavery. It is believed that he fathered five children by one of his slaves, a woman named Sally Hemings. I still think the electrocution fact has been my favorite. Oh, was that not fun? Was that not a fun fact? These facts have all been so much fun. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Saxophone. President William Jefferson Clinton played the sax on the Arsenio Hall show on national television. Wow. Wow. I guess I should have assumed that this was going to have, like, historical facts and whatnot. I just wanted to find items in the White House. Fun fact. Actress Marilyn Monroe sang a sultry rendition of Happy Birthday, Mr. President for Kennedy's 45th birthday celebration at Madison Square Garden. Rumors persist that Monroe and Kennedy were having an affair. The now famous dress she wore sold at auction for $1.26 million. I I will I'll wear any dress if you guys will buy it after I put it on for $1.2 million. I'm fine with that. I I am fine with that. Oh, it was the Declaration of Independence. Is this the dress that Kim K ruined? I wouldn't know. Why did Kim K ruin the dress? How? Oh, fun fact. She tore it? Why? Her butt was too big. See, that's the fun fact. If that was in there, then that would be the fun fact. <laughs> Uh, nine signers of the Declaration of Independence are known to have been Freemasons. Wow, my life is forever changed. Uh, butterfly. Oh, she wore a replica. She insisted on wearing the original instead of a reproduction. I'm getting conflicting facts here. If only this game had included information. Is this a bucket? No. Apple. Stuart Little might be around. If there's apples around. It was the original dress. I'm telling you, anyone, anyone want to buy uh, one of my mini dresses for... You know, I'll give you a deal, too. I don't even need the 0.26 million. I'll just take it for the, a cool million. Nice, even million. Is this a teapot? I don't know. I mean... Ornate teapot. Did I sing to Biden? I would. If it got me a million dollars, I'll sing... Uh, Sexy happy birthday to Biden <laughs> in a dress. And I won't even care if you try to put the dress on and ruin it because your ass is too fat. I'm fine with it as long as I get my million. I don't care. Oh, there's the apple. Oh, fun fact. Steve Wozniak, brilliant computer engineer and co-founder of Apple Computers, talked about becoming a third-degree Freemason in his autobiography. He received the National Medal of Technology from President Ronald Reagan in 1985. <laughs> Bingo XP evening gown for merch. Where the fuck is this fucking teapot?
I see shoes. Is shoes helpful? I also don't see... Oh, there's Bucket. Oh. Man. It's so weird. These hidden object games have a, a really weird way of... making the time just... slowly melt away. Ornate teapot. Let's see if uh... that's the teapot. I thought that was like a hookah. Oh, close. It's close. Get in there and vote. One for play, two for pass. Extremely close. Most controversial game of the season. The chat is split, just like Marilyn Monroe's dress. I'm waiting. To, I'm waiting for the voting song to be done, and then I'll call it. So. Is this a light? Is that a jello? Is that Bill on the sax? I think I think subscribers' votes do still count double. For some reason, I can't see it on my laptop screen. Close, close. That was uh, separated by three votes. Three votes. Okay, no, subs votes have not been double. Uh, but they will be now, because I wanted to leave that on, actually. Okay. Off we go. How do I get out of here? I like the voice acting in this one, but... Wasn't quite as good as I wanted it to be. Run it again. No, no, no. That's how we've been playing the whole season. It's fine. We're going back to the board. We can play more on the leftover stream if you guys really like the the White House game. Ba -ba -da -ba. You want more Tinkerbell game? How long do I plan on going today? How long has it been? Oh, shit. Yeah, I said it was going to stop like 30 minutes ago. I'm going to keep going. I really want to hit another bingo. I'm still... I mean, I'm not as disappointed as I was when it happened. Uh, because I I know there, it was no secret that I was disappointed. But... I'm a little... I'm still disappointed that I bingoed so fast. So I wanna I wanna try and hit something else on the card. And it shouldn't even upset me that much because I I set this up so we could go through you know, we could get through bingo and do more seasons. So you know, sometimes they're gonna be short. I twenty-four. Uh I twenty-four. Yeah, it means next bingo will happen faster. I was I was honestly I was hoping you guys would come back and maybe not win. I still wanted to win. Uh but I was kind of hoping you guys would uh come back and make it close. 24 is on medium sub drop. I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, let's do... Let's do a blue. 
<laughs> sorry you didn't even put up a fight. I'm sorry I didn't uh, mix the numbers. I don't know. I'm just sorry I'm so lucky. I'm just, I'm on a hot streak right now. This is one of the best markers. This blue is very uh, uh, moist. Okay, let's... Yeah, if, if you tuned into the last couple of Mario Party streams, uh, you'd know that I'm, my, I'm just running a little hot with luck. I'm just too lucky. I'm gonna go make a big bet at the casino. Okay, 24. Friday stream gonna be uh we're either gonna start our next full playthrough which is gonna be lost that is probably what I'm gonna do I'm probably just gonna start playing lost and then hopefully we could finish it up by Monday and maybe get into a new bingo on Friday maybe do leftovers on Wednesday go with everything uh 24. Oh yeah, we got fan mail. Oh my god. There's just so much to do. There's so much to do. This is why I go to sleep thinking about work. There's just always... <laughs> just always something to do. Oh, camera. Thank you. Hi. Uh, we're gonna play... The Powerpuff Girls Learning Challenge Number Two Princess Snorbucks. Uh, honestly, it sounds a little more fun than being at the White House. The White House was kind of boring. It was kind of like it was kind of like being on a tour of the White House, where someone's trying to teach you stuff, but also you're like picking up after the people that live there. I think it's more bucks. I think it said snore bucks. I also can't read, so maybe it said more bucks. Uh, your balls are forfeit. Thank you for the four dollars and change. In future bingo seasons, you should hide a chobu for us to hunt instead of the hoodie. Interesting. Like hide a, a chobu on set somewhere. I do have. Uh, I mean, Mo sent in some chobus. So that's possible. Or is an alert? Maybe. I like the idea of a hidden donation alert when it's like stumbled upon randomly. But honestly, I don't know how I feel about a bunch of people sending in money in a row looking for an alert. I don't, I, you know, I don't. I'm not here to, like, try and bankrupt people. You guys shouldn't be sending in that much money to find an alert. I can't connect to the internet? I guess I won't register. Oh, well. Well. I don't want to do this shit. See, it's Snorbucks. Oh, well, you can't see because it's, uh, it's just, you know, it just needs to, just needs to be like, there we go. Oh, wait, but the mute, okay. I was like, did the music stop? Okay, I just want to play. I don't need the user's guide. Sign up for the Powerpuff Girls Adventure. 
type in your name or find it on the list. M I A M I C U P I A M Eh? What? Sign up for the Powerpuff Girls Adventure! What? Uh... Sign Hold on. up for the Powerpuff Girls Adventure! Let's just try one Type more time. Your name or find it on the list. Yeah, they didn't like... He didn't like, uh... I see you pee. Okay, hold on. Let me try compatibility. Where is... Where is it? I will make sure... Uh, when I... When I do more... Uh, when I put more games in, I'll go through and make sure... That... Uh, Everything's XP games. I think we're just having problems playing the 95, 98 ones. Sign up for the Powerpuff Girls Adventure. There we go. It's true. XP was always weird with old games. I mean, it's nice that it has a compatibility mode and it works sometimes, but uh, maybe I should just have the... Hmm, I was going to say I should have the 98 okay, machine... Oh, I'll shut up. Bill. A surprising place where people receive surprise packages. It's pretty. It must be for me. No, it must be for me. Out of my way. It's mine. Now, now, girls, we must be patient. Let's bring it inside and read the card. No, just open it on the front lawn. To the Powerpuff Girls, in appreciation of your great heroism, sweet dreams tonight. The Mayor. Oh, we're heroes! It's from the Mayor. I don't like the blue one. Now, girls, let's not just tear into this. It's very pretty paper and... Oh. Yay! Hurry up! <laughs> of course you don't. <laughs> oh, a music box! A music box! A music box? It's so pretty! It's beautiful. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind the blue one if she a music didn't box. speak. Nice. But <laughs> I think again, I think I'd be. Where I think we'd, it'd be fine. As nice as it seems. I bet there's trouble ahead. But what could it be? Rude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Good night, girls, and may you have sweet dreams, just like the mayor said. Good night, Good night professor. professor. Here's your music. Call her by name. Which? I don't know their names. One of them's Bubbles. One of them's Buttercup. One of them is another. It's a, probably a B word of some sort. Whoa! Those dreams don't look so sweet. Blossom. What's going on here? She is a B-word. It's not what I meant. It's not what I meant. Rats have got to be asleep by now. That fake music box better work, Daddy. Yeah, speaking of B-word. girls to get stuck in their nightmares so they'll never wake up. They won't let me be a Powerpuff Girl, so I'll show them. She's got David energy. And then I'll be the hero. 
hero. I'll save Townsville from all the monsters and villains while those girls are sleeping on the job. I'll be cheered and they'll be laughed at a <laughs> This girl is me. <laughs> oh, sorry. David from Animorphs. Oh, no. Sorry. This is a nightmare. It looks like the Powerpuff Girls are really knocked out this time. I forget that not everyone is actively reading through the Animorph series and can pick up on my David references. <laughs> oh, the Powerpuff Girls are having horrible nightmares. You can help them by entering their dreams. What if I don't want to help them? Their problems. Every time you do, you'll earn musical wake-ups. You'll need these wake-ups to destroy the music box and rid the girls of these nightmares so they can be the heroes of Townsville again. Good luck. And dream about me whenever you need help. I feel like if you're going around and like fighting crime and saving the city, I think having nightmares is probably part of the uh, part of the job. You know, I, I think it comes with the territory. Get ready for some lumps, lumpkins. Get ready for some lumps. Yeah, just like animorphs. Yeah. Bubbles Flower Garden. What am I doing here? I hate flowers. Get them out of here. Fuck oh, is that? Man. That fuzzy lumpkin's messed up all the flower beds. Bubbles is gonna cry, and I can't listen to that. <laughs> I like this one. And this I'll one's good. Again. <laughs> Fixing that baby Bubbles' flowers? What a nightmare. Okay, let's watch this movie. It'll show you how to wake up from this nightmare. Fuzzy Lumpkins has been trolled the lead. flower beds. It's up to you to divide each flower bed into the right number of sections and replant them with the right kinds of flowers. This sign shows you a fraction and a certain kind of flower. Look at the denominator. That's the number on the bottom of the flower. Oh, yeah. That tells you how many sections the flower bed needs. The number on top of the fraction mm -hmm. is the numerator. That tells you how many of the sections need to be planted with that kind of flower. Mm -hmm. First, Choose the right kind of layout from your notebook and okay. divide that flower bed into halves. Next, pick up the flower and plant it in the right number of sections, one half. Hmm. Now it's time to water those flowers. If you've planted them correctly, they'll start to grow. As your gardening skills grow, you'll notice more fractions on the side. This is going to be dope no when I get to play this in an hour. Barrier. It's going to be sweet. Hmm. That flower shouldn't be in there. Mm -mm. Use the shovel to remove it. As the nightmare level increases, you'll my nightmare level is increasing right now. Bottom number. That's the denominator, by the way. No problem. You can find a common denominator. One half is the same as two fourths. So divide the flower bed into four sections. Uh huh. Now. Plant this flower in two fourths, which is just like one half. Mm. And this flower in the other two fourths. Mm. Keep an eye out for Fuzzy Lumpkins. He'll keep trying to mess things up. Uh, Fuzzy Lumpkins is a great name. Let him have it. That's all there is to it, Buttercup. You can do this in your sleep. Don't call me Buttercup. That's not very nice. Okay. So this one, I wasn't allowed to watch this show because of the gay devil. I wasn't allowed to watch Powerpuff Girls. So I don't know oh, anything. I don't know anything about awesome. it. Uh-oh. Looks like Fuzzy is still on the loose. Gotta move. <laughs> My parents confuse you, you know? The feeling is mutual. There we go. Great flower planting. Congratulations. You fixed Bubbles' garden and earned a wake up for Buttercup. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Uh Buffy, I'll teach you a lesson in gardening. Oh, I'm doing more? Was it because he was a devil? I honestly don't know. At some point you stop asking why can't I watch this thing and you just say, "Okay, fine." Another garden finished. Here we go. 
<laughs> if you guys need me to slow down and explain what I'm doing, I can. I know it's uh garden actually looks cool. Ooh. A little confusing. So I've earned two can I not just wake up? I thought I would wake up. Your brain hurts. If this is too much, I would I would advise my yeah, the same advice for the flashing screen. Another garden. Just close your eyes if the math is too uh too confusing. Eventually the math will be off the screen. That garden actually looks cool. No, it doesn't. Another wake up for Buttercup. When do I get to wake up? Darn that fuzzy! I gotta get him! Hey there! Are you sure you want to stop now? Well, I don't want to stop the whole game. I want to... Let me know if you want some advice. But don't forget, you can... Oh, here's a movie. Okay, let's watch this. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> uh, and then crayons I can't use. So... Here we go. Did they do a lot of gardening on this show? I can't say I recall a a bunch of gardening. I I think in the trailers, like for the show, they garden sometimes, but not all the time. They mostly beat people up. Oh, I'm glad that that's not what we're up to. I I think beating people up sounds I don't know a little aggressive. I think gardening is a little more wholesome. Uh, and I'd rather I'd rather be doing this. That's true. She did beat up Fuzzy Lumpkin so she could garden. I forget I forget about that. It happened so quickly. Darn that fuzzy. This is cool, cause you can change the danger level in. Oh shit! Okay, good. I can go fucking anywhere else. Escapade in Espanol. Oh no! That nasty gang green gang is wreaking havoc in the park. What a night! Go gang green. <laughs> Team gang green. Birthday little squirrels. Feliz cumpleaños! Why don't you try to break the piñatas and get some acorns? You're mean, Arturo. You know the squirrels can't do that. Stop teasing them! Si, señorita. But what are you going to do about it? We'll show you! Come on, squirrel buddies! Let's work together and break some piñatas! Was that Tom Kenny, really? Okay, let's watch this movie. It'll show you how to wake up awesome. from this nightmare. Awesome. Oh, those poor squirrels. That no good gangrene gang has hidden all their acorns in these pinatas. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, the squirrels know the names of the pinatas that have acorns inside. Mm. But the words are in Spanish. Cinco. Lucky for them, Bubbles, tu hablas español. Mm. Hablo español. I speak Spanish. Now let's hear you say that word again. Cinco. Okay, now decide which pinata to hit. I thought Seis. I thought you spoke Spanish. I don't think that's it. Let's try this one. I <laughs> miss Howie. <laughs> Cinco. That's the one. Excelente. The gangrene gang will Cinco. try to make you miss. If you don't hit the piñata in the right spot, uh -huh. it'll just spin around. Mm -hmm. But if you hit it right in the middle, it'll start to crack. Cinco. After mm -hmm. three direct hits, you'll completely crack it open. One group of squirrels will be very happy. Or should I say, muy feliz? Squirrels are looking a little, uh... There are still more hungry squirrels. Once you feed them all, you'll earn like a Like dicks, so right? Those pinatas <laughs> really no nightmare. other way to say it. Uh... El caballo. This, the standing, uh, squirrel here is... Uh... Phallic, at least. Are you stink! 
Come on. Gotta get those squirrels their nuts. El calcetin. I don't know El Calcetin. Is that... That would be like a dress. No? El vestido. Oh, it's Velstito? Is it a sock? Oh. Must be the sock. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so hard to know where the fuck to swing. Perfecto. You fed was not very perfect though, dude. To help bubbles out of her nightmare. Keep going. Who's going to help me out of my nightmare? Oh my god. Not even changing which one it I'm not finished yet. Oh shh. Oh my god. Okay. It's time to play or pass. people voting play uh, than I was expecting. <laughs> uh, sombrero. I don't fucking see no sombrero. Check out Blossom's Dream. This is what she's up to. Oh my god, she's dreaming of some guy with pits and he looks he shouldn't be around this child. The cockroach guy? How is what is wait, what it hold what about him is cockroachy? Like, does he like cockroach? He summoned a bunch of cockroaches and they formed a living mech. Huh. Okay. Well, that's not exactly what I thought the, the Powerpuff Girls were going to be up to. I'll be honest. I really got to watch Powerpuff Girls. Do I? How much does Bubbles talk? Are we saying that she has a lot of lines or just like a couple every episode? <laughs> 33% of the time. I like that answer. Maybe I could just dub over Bubbles. Yeah. Okay, let's do... Uh, we're going to do at least one more. Let's just see... Let's see what happens. I'm not ready to call this the last one. But let's see what happens. G59. Yes? No? Yes? G59. Oh, hell yeah! We're going to the Winner's Lounge. We're going to the Winner's Lounge. Thank goodness. Boom. Small sub drop. Any more 59s? 59... 
Uh, nope. Okay, small sub drop. Bingo! Bingo! Oh, right. I borrowed the light. Welcome, everyone, back to the Winner's Lounge. I need to uh, get some, like, Winner's Lounge official music going on. And I also need to figure out how to get the fucking lamps to stand up. I tried to Velcro them to the ground, and it's clearly not working. Oh, is Dream Bunny on the TV here? There you go. While I turn your lights on. <laughs> Kill to have carpet like that. Well, t I'll talk about renting the uh, the lounge out in between seasons. Maybe maybe one of you guys could stay here. Um, I'm thinking like maybe two grand a month would be doable. Okay, so since we hit small sub drop, you guys are be going to be trying to get five subs. The options are one, three, and five. Oh, let me get the uh, ABC out of here. Stir up the options here. You get to play the games too. No, the games are the games are not part of the rent. No. Um, here we go. Because there's no games in the winners' lounge. You know, you you can watch uh, brutal moose videos. But that's about it. I need to I need to have some Winner's Lounge specific music. This is too chill. Oh shit. I just showed you what it was, huh? Don't look in there. <laughs> I forgot to put the 1 2 3 doors back on. A lot of steps this process here. I can't really see in. It's hard to see into the door room. Okay, I'm going to stir them up again. I'm not looking, so. I have to pick two after each. I'm not looking, so I'm not I'm not doing anything. Okay. No shenanigans here. It's not fun if it's not fair. Okay, I think I think we're good. I think we're good. That lamp fell over, but you know. You're not looking. Oh my god, did I knock another lamp over? I'm knocking everything over. I knocked the I need to put all I need to stick this shit down, right? I need some type of putty to stick all this shit down. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck. Excuse me. Didn't mean to drop you like that. Welcome, we're back. Okay, where's the mouse? All right, so you are looking for five subs. Come on, come on, find the five. I want to give at least five out, so I'm counting on you guys. And I'll skip some music and see if I can find something a little more. Yeah, here we go. There we go. Ooh, leaning towards door number three. I'll let it go for a little a little while longer. I'll let it hit a minute. Uh, everyone can vote. All you got to do is type a number in chat. I just put these uh, this new border around the doors. I just I just added that yesterday. They don't blink unfortunately, but they are USB powered, which is uh better. Okay, 1 minute. 
door number three. Door number three. Let's see. Let's see what's behind door number three. Wah, 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 wah. Meow. Oh, hold on. You shouldn't be able to see that cable there. Bah, 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 bah. Meow. It was two. Oh, wait. No, it was one. I forgot that the five was there. It was one. Bah, 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 bah. But hey, someone's going to get a sub. I feel like you guys don't like picking door number one. I feel like doors door one has to be the least selected door. Mm, what a hamburger. Okay, hold on. Incoming incoming gift. You're always gonna pick door number two. Sometimes I should do the uh, the switch. You know, I should like show what's behind one of the doors and ask you guys if you want to trade doors. There you go. Uh, who caught that one? Aloish. Aloish. Congratulations. You may have caught the only. Uh, the only gift sub, one in this rather brief season of, uh, of Bingo XP. Congratulations. Zoop. Oh, awesome. I'm glad you're here to, to uh, accept it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay, let me, I'm going to put the doors back on now so I don't forget to do it next time. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, fuck. I put them on backwards. I'm a, me I'm a mess today. I'm all over the place. This is, I will say that it's a little harder to interact with the winner's lounge with this setup versus how I had it last time. There we go. Door closed. Door closed. Maybe we can get there one more time. Okay, G59. G59. I gotta put the, uh... G59. I'm excited to have gotten another bingo. I still kinda wanna, like, what time is it? My watch is dead. What time is it? Oh, it's almost six. Ooh. Can I use a wired microphone during bingo? It's it's just the placement, honestly. It's it's getting in here and interacting it with the light overhead. Um, I, I could maybe try a wireless option next time. I like holding the I like holding the microphone though. I feel like a game show host. I was gonna use my uh, do I have it? I was going to use the long skinny mic I have, right? But uh, the cable connection is loose and it goes Wah! randomly. So I decided to spare your ears. Yeah, a little Bob Barkery, that mic. It's not quite a Bob Barker mic, but it's close. Okay, 59? 59. See you, Sam. Oh, this might not work either. Uh, Reader Rabbit 2. 
Street of Rabbit 2. This one might be too old. I can just like looking at it. I'm actually I'm I'm starting to get excited for uh, Lost. I'm getting over I'm getting over it. Ash to Dust, thank you for the prime sub. Iron in the Gulf, thank you so much for gifting those two subs. And Brutal Moose, thank you for gifting that one sub. Very generous of you. I mean, this guy seems to be at every stream. It's crazy. What kind of game is lost? I don't know. I can show you uh, while, while we're installing. Here, let me get the box. Find your redemption. Find your way home. You find yourself standing in the wreckage of Oceanic Flight 815. Survivors are screaming. Explosions and debris are everywhere. And you have no memory of what has happened. Experience the never-before-told story of a previously unseen Flight 815 survivor. As you fight for survival, you're un you'll uncover secrets and piece together fragments of your furtive past furtive past and if you're lucky you may just find a way home uh, explore new and familiar island locations and interact with key survivors confront dark island forces uncover your illicit past and find your way home I mean it looks pretty good I don't, you guys can't really see it's I'm, I'm very tiny in the corner here But we'll start that probably uh, on Friday. Okay, where's where the fuck is Reader Rabbit? <laughs> the one who got sucked through the turbine? Yeah, it is. Yeah, he actually survived and went on to have a whole uh, game. <laughs> game made about him. Uh, the last episode of Bingo XP. This is the last episode of this first season of Bingo XP. Uh, we will likely get into season two uh, next week. I'm going to try and get back into it ASAP. If not next week, then the week after. It depends on how long it takes to beat Lost. But I... Uh, like I said, I've set everything up so it should be easy to, to hop back in. So it, we shouldn't have a huge gap in between seasons um, like before. New season of Bingo 98? Possibly. I think we're going to do Pingo S2 after we finish uh, XP. Six forty by four eighty. Do I just have to change? Oh shit! I can't even. Yeah, I don't think I can even do that. Oh yeah, I gotta do. Uh... Yeah, I gotta do fan mail as well. Uh, let me try going down to 16 bit. See if it if it likes that. Can you send me break into rules for PS2? You can send me any game I don't already have. Just be sure to check, um, check my catalog to make sure I don't already have it. Oh, here we go. Hold on, this could work. Or not. Uh. Yeah, I think this one's going to be too old. You can find my catalog at brutalmoose.com slash catalog or brutalmoose.com slash library. Uh, I'm pretty sure brutalmoose.com slash collection also takes you there. Womp womp. Going to have to pull another... Uh, Going to have to pull another bingo ball. 
Sorry about that, but that is uh, part of the, really just the PC bingo experience. Sometimes shit does not work. So it goes. It means we could hit another bingo. All right, all right. Let's get let's get one more. Sociolotron. I mean, even if I did play it, I wouldn't be able to stream it or anything like that. How how would Sociolotron work? Is the video even still allowed on YouTube? Is it still up? When do I plan to end the stream? I'll probably do one or two more games. Just uh just depending on how things go. B8. Oh, wait, you can't. B8. B8. Uh, that is... That is one for you guys. Uh, what color do you want? Not that it, it doesn't super matter, but... Yeah, not, not B8. Uh, blue? Okay. Or not B7. B7... Would that be any better? Yeah, what? Did we not? Did we do seven already? No? Where's the seven? Is there? Oh, it's a fucking special prize. Oh my god, my brain. Dude, it's the biggest number on the fucking board. Maybe I do need to rest. <laughs> Maybe I do need to, to rest a little bit. Okay, B8. Yeah, I forgot about the giant numbers. They're, they're, maybe it's just because they're different? You don't, there's no special happening. No, we got B8. We got B8. Well, this one, who knows? This one might not fucking work either because it very clearly, again, the instructions were find Windows XP games and add them to the binder. This one in very big font says Windows 95, Windows 3.1, and Macintosh. So let's see. We might have a chance to get B7 again. Who picked these games? My boyfriend picked these games. And it was much needed because I had a bunch of other stuff to do. Uh, and honestly, you wouldn't think it, it would take that long to... Yeah, see. Did I get around this a different one? You wouldn't think it would take that long to pick out games, but it kind of does. Uh, this is Fisher Price Castle, by the way. I didn't. I thought I got around this somehow. I see it right there, dude. They're right here. What do you mean they're not? I, I'm looking at them. I'm going to I'm going to give it a I'm going to give it a go. Here, I'm going to copy the fi the files over. Yeah, if it doesn't work, we're just going to pull another ball anyway. Uh, be sure, by the way, if you have any ideas for the next season of Bingo that will start hopefully within uh, the next week, uh, be sure to drop them in the suggestions section of the Discord, because I am open to ideas. 
What did the special number mean? We, well, we had got to we got to hit the special number. I will say I will say that uh, the special numbers uh, each mean something. Uh, they don't all mean the same thing. Okay, this one's not going to work. We have not played Ohio Interactive games, but they, there's definitely at least one in the mix. I, requ I specially requested one of those. What does 69 mean? Uh, I won't say what it is, but I... I don't know that I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Uh, the, um, the 7, 13, and 22, though, those, actually, I forget what, hold on, I forget what one of them is. Oh, wait, no, no, I remember what they are. Yeah, those other three are, are real keepers. We got, oh, shit, I bumped the cable. Hold on. It's a very sensitive video cable. Don't read these words, okay? It's 074, 074. Oh, which is one of my, I'm getting even closer to a bingo over here. I will to go with purple. Now, what for next season, I really need you guys to have more luck, okay? Would you do me if it would be great? I mean, I can set up all the all the stuff, right? I can host the show. But if you guys aren't going to have luck and and hit the cards, it's just going to ruin everything every season. So, next season i would really i'd really like it if you guys would uh get some some spaces on the board ah. okay 74 maybe this one is a windows uh 3.1 game as well it's spongebob square pant employee of the month oh wait employee of the month i kind of know this one i play all right well this is one of the ones that i watched uh, my boyfriend play for like an hour or two Yes, it's a it's like a 3D point and click. Lots of Tom Kenny. We've had at least two. What have we had more than two? Someone said Tom Kenny was in the the Powerpuff game. Screaming ones. Uh, someone said it was the green dude in the pinata game. I don't know if it was actually him or not. Awooga. Wow, wow, wow. Something fun to look at while we install. Oh, bummer. Oh, and he was the announcer? I didn't know that. Interesting. I don't, I don't, I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. Am I Tom Kenny? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. Wee bee bee. Do my SpongeBob voice? I, uh, 
You know, my voice is a little shot today uh, from all this talking. So probably can't do the SpongeBob voice right now. Um, Super Sponge on PS1. I haven't played... I don't think I played any SpongeBob games. Maybe... Maybe ever. <laughs> Do a British SpongeBob voice. Uh, that's a new one for me to try. I'm going to try and nail down a British SpongeBob accent. Because uh, that would be a good one to be able to break out um, at, at any time. The SpongeBob laugh is easy. You just tap under your neck. Ha Oh, did SpongeBob just come through here? Was that SpongeBob? Tom? Are you here, Tom? Are you ready, kids? Oh, this is gonna get copyright claimed. <laughs> nope. Okay, guys, that's a wrap. Don't you want to see my oh. ah. It got kind of like a Veggie Tales call for Mr. Krabs. Ah. Look to it. More junk mail. Let me guess. Free tickets to Neptune's Paradise. Why don't you give them the moron back there for being employee of the year? SpongeBob? Squidward's definitely the coolest uh, SpongeBob character. Very valuable tickets to Neptune's paradise. Gee, thanks, Mr. Krabs. You must have spent a fortune on these. Mm. Let me tell Patrick. <laughs> thanks again. Mm. I feel like in, in our stream relationship, chat is like SpongeBob and Patrick, and I'm like the Squidward. SpongeBob. Patrick. I'm behind you, Patrick. Hey, SpongeBob. Mr. Krabs gave us two free tickets to Neptune's Paradise. Neptune's Paradise? You go home and get ready, and we'll meet up later after work. <gasps> Who's the SpongeBob? I said you guys. You guys are the SpongeBob and the Patrick. <laughs> Patrick's eyes don't look quite right, but it's fine. I'm Squidward and Mr. Krabs. Dude, their eyes are freaking me out. Hello, faithful customer. What do you gotta do to get some service around here? Walk up to the counter? I'm sorry, sir. Was there a problem with your order? I haven't even been served yet. What's the big holdup? You gotta walk to the counter, bro. I'm terribly sorry, sir. What did you order again? A Krabby Patty, and I'm starving. I'll fix you one right up, mister. Guess who's going to Neptune's Paradise? That's nice. I just came back from there. It was a lot of fun. Oh, well then maybe you can help me. I'm trying to find out how to get there. Do you know a way? Yes, ask me nicely. No. Okay. Could you tell me how to get to Neptune's Paradise, please? What's he doing? <laughs> nope. Why not? Because I'm starving. Fix me a Krabby Patty and maybe I'll tell you. Well, I gotta go. Bye. Bye-bye. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna serve him the dirty plate. I'd better wash this before giving it to anybody. No, give it to him. <laughs> There you go. Hey, I don't want this. <laughs> I said I want a Krabby Patty with all the fixings, and I want it on a clean plate. Hop to it. Fast food workers love it when you tell them hop to hey there, it. Squidward, old pal. What do you want? Guaranteed quality I'm service. 
of the year. And Mr. Krabs gave me tickets to Neptune's Pacific Paradise as a reward. What do you think about that? SpongeBob, I think you finally lost it. Hey, Squidward, there's a hungry looking customer over there. Shouldn't you do something about it? I have no interest in that. But I need to get to Neptune's Paradise. Could you please take care of that customer for me? <laughs> Look, SpongeBob, I am very busy. Please do not bother me unless it's important. Oh, tartar sauce! You're not that busy, dude. Oh my god, I don't like that all the... It's like all the black is transparent, right? Like the black of the eyes, black of the eyelashes, black of the belt. It's fine. Don't worry about it, it's fine. It's just life under the sea. Mm -mm. Wait, was that Ah, uh, the grill. Already made? That's fine. Okay, I don't I do know that you can walk to the other side of this room. I remember watching my boyfriend get stuck here, and it took forever for us to figure out that you can walk to this side of the room to clean the plate. I double click something to run it. Ooh, strange stuff in here. I don't, I don't wanna touch that. What if it drags me up to the surface? Actually, you know, that's a good point. How do they keep these things? How did they retrieve this? Ah, 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 the ah, ah, the grill, my canvas. Ah. I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. A Krabby Patty. Ah. <laughs> what the fuck is he up to? A Krabby Patty! A Krabby Patty! A Krabby Patty! Here you go, sir! One delicious and uh, slightly nutritious Krabby Patty! Now, can you tell me how to get to Neptune's Paradise? What yes. Is he doing with uh, his arms? Well, how? There's a bus stop downtown where you can catch a bus to Neptune's Paradise every day. Now leave me alone. I'm eaten. Now we do a little dance. Okay. Oh, he's eating. That's yeah. Here we go. The Krusty Krab. That sign stands for the Krusty Krab. And we're oh my god, the feet. <laughs> I'm invisible. The <laughs> feet invisible. Oh, I did miss the sexy Sandy picture. Don't worry. I know everyone was was looking to get a, a closer look at that nice pick of Sandy. Don't worry. Don't worry. There we go. There we go. How long? How long do you guys need me to uh, to stay on the screen until you're like ready to move on? Like, how much time would you say that you need? <laughs> okay, moving on. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, hold on one second. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah. Uh. Ah 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 the grill my <laughs> Oh he, he runs he he uh hustles if you double click Okay let's Oh my god the invisible the invisible feet are strange. He's just like, he's just walking around on pure ankle here. This door seems to be locked. It's locked. This door seems to be locked. This door seems to be locked. 
This door seems to be locked. Everybody hey, looks so Patrick, fucked up. Where'd you get that sweet camera? I won first place in the annual Bikini Bottom Bikini Contest, and this was the prize. Patrick, you won a bikini contest? Well, I was the only male contestant, but the judges said I had the most unique figure. <laughs> hey, Patrick, you wouldn't happen to have any bus tokens, would you? Uh, no, SpongeBob, I don't have any. What are we gonna do? Don't worry, Patrick. I'll find us a couple somehow. Great! I'll save our place in line. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, bus tokens. Hey, Patrick. I like your hat. Yeah, it's the newest style. I'm keeping it real. I'll be back, Patrick. Okay. I'll be here. Hi again, Patrick. Oh, I thought I could interact with his hat. I'll be back. I'll be... Okay, so we need bus tokens. Oh, let's head to the Goo Lagoon. Goo Lagoon. There is nothing like being at the ocean. Oh, it's Except just as I remember it. Oh, no, dude. Oh. Yippee! Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. That looks like Larry working out over there. That looks like Larry working out over there. I'm gonna have to walk around to get there, though. That's fine. Walk around, then. Ray's Organic Tanning Salon. Hmm, organic tanning? Here we go. Oh my god, he looks Larry. fucked up! There, Everybody looks so fucked up. What you doing? I'm working on the biceps. They are the most important muscle group for impressing the ladies. You should try it someday, Skinny Bob Square Panties. Skinny Bob Square Panties. Say, Larry, are those your beach toys over there? Yeah, those are mine. Old Shovely and Mr. Pal. Do you think I could borrow them? No way, I love that shovel and that pal. I'm getting all teary-eyed just thinking about them. <laughs> look over there! A mermaid, and she's looking at you. Ooh, good thing I haven't fallen off my diet. Where? Hey, there's no mermaid. Can I just... Hey, Larry, what can I do to get big and strong like you? Well, SpongeBob, it's not easy. First of all, you have to wake up each morning at 3 a.m. and go for a 10-mile run. I do that. Then you have to do five sets of exercises, isolating each muscle group. Ten repetitions each. It's gonna hurt. I do that already. I don't look like him. stop eating those fatty, crabby patties. What? That's crazy talk! Forget about it! See? It takes discipline. No crabby patties, huh? Don't you ever get tempted to cheat on that diet? Nah, the only thing I really miss are Grandma's homemade pies. Hmm, I sure wish I could eat those. Well, I better get going. Don't pull them up. So are we gonna, like, knock him off his diet? Once in a while. Okay. Well, off to Grandma's, I'm assuming. Oh my god, the fucking... Uh... Butt implant. Or impression. Here we go. Here we go. So far, this one's not that bad, honestly. I wish, I wish the it would render the black and not make everything transparent. But other than that, money, 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 ah, money. our dear friend Mr. Krabs makes his way to the local <clears throat> bargain mart to make a little extra money on the side. He is such a god. He makes me laugh so. Ha ha. Ha ha. Can I do a French accent? Yeah, I can. It sounds a lot like my uh, English, my British accent. I can do a lot of accents, actually. They all just 
sound very similar to my my Brit uh, my British accent. Hi, Grandma. It's me, your most favorite grandson. Oh, Patrick, is that you? What a pleasant surprise. Patrick? No, it's me, SpongeBob. Oh. Uh, give me a pie. I, I want a pie. How's your day been, Grandma? Oh, it's so much nicer now that my puffy, lumpy Patrick has come to visit me. Grandma does look like a giant cookie. I agree. Wasn't I done streaming an hour to two hours? No, I don't think so. Grandma, I'm not Patrick. I'm... Oh, never mind. What are you baking, Grandma? It's your favorite urchin chip pie. But I just ran out of urchin chips. I'm so sorry. Let's see. Player pass. This is probably going to be the last uh, 15 minute segment I do. I'm getting a bit tired. I agree. So far, this one does this does seem like the one of the higher quality games that we've seen. Yeah, I hit I hit my bingo a while ago, but I wasn't ready to stop streaming, so we kept playing for a bit. Do a full playthrough of this one. Something to think about for future bingo polls. Yeah, I think I think it's pretty clear. Oh yeah, Barnyard is also worth uh, <laughs> worth maybe playing more at some point. I could run to the store and get you some urchin chips. Oh, don't bother, dear. I'll just feed them to the seagulls later. Ah! No, 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 no. Uh, really, it's no trouble, Grandma. Well, if you're absolutely sure, just promise me you'll be careful. I will. Thank you, Grandma. What games were we going to play if chat won? Uh, well, I already mentioned one of them. I might just keep the... I might just keep all of them... For the, since we're going to start the next round, uh, like, next week, hopefully, I'll probably just keep the, the games for you guys the same. I won tickets to go to Neptune's Paradise for being Employee of the Year. Patty Cakes, I knew you had turned into a good little grown-up. I am so Why is the black on his pants clear? He's just going, slowly Grandma. fading away. Okay, Patrick, be careful. He's just, you know, this is just SpongeBob's dream. This looks a little, uh, this was, this was like one fourth of the chat when we were looking at that Sandy Cheeks, uh, picture. Okay, time to go to the bargain mart. Oh my God. What is, what is happening? Fish in baggy clothes. Oh, that's Mr. Krabs' outfit. Hi there. I don't mean to be nosy, but your clothes seem a little big for you. Yeah, I know. I gotta have them altered. I just bought them. From who? They look sort of familiar. From Mr. Krabs. He let me have them for a steal. He's in the bargain mart selling all kinds of stuff. So if you're wearing Mr. Krabs' clothes, oh, what is he wearing? You don't want to know. Anyways, I gotta go. Bye. Oh. Bye. It's a good look. <laughs> it's a pretty good look. Oh my god. 
the eyeballs, dude. I gotta figure I out the colors the if we decide board. to do a full playthrough of this. Do you carry urchin chips? Urchin chips? We sure do. Yep. How much are they? I don't know. A lot. Uh oh. Well, I don't have any money. Then does it matter how much they are? Yes. Oh well. No urchin chips for you. No, oh, but I really need those urchin chips. Isn't there anything I can do to mm. get them? I'll tell you what. If you wash my oh. boat for me, I'll pay for your urchin chips. Well, yeah, we're gonna wash this dude's boat. Fair. But where's your boat parked? Right out front. For oh, some money. And, and please don't forget to wash the white walls. Okay, sure, no problem. Well. <laughs> hey there, Mr. Krabs. Hello there, me boy. It would be less troubling if there wasn't a stack of cans and he was just like a smooth... N uh, putting the cans there implies that it's hiding uh, Mr. Krabs' hog. What are you doing at the <laughs> bargain mart, Mr. Krabs? Moonlight. Moonlighting? Mm. What's that? I'm trying to make a few dollars selling some old junk. Now, why aren't you on your way to Neptune's paradise? I am. I have to take care of a few things first. I might be up late. Is it okay if I come into work a little late tomorrow? What? You know I can't stand tardiness. Maybe I should have made Squidward Employee of the Year instead of Oh, I want to play a Squidward. <laughs> Dude, has Squidward ever gotten a game? You work right on time. Don't you worry about it. Good. Now get going. You're scaring away me business. Absolutely, Mr. Krabs. Thank you. Dude, I would play Squidward's game if it was good. Well, yes, but... Money, money, money. Kelpo, it Kelpo, it Kelpo, Kelpo. Oh, it's a fan one. Okay, let's go wash that car. Helper. <laughs> Ask him why he sold his clothes. Okay. Do that real quick. Always. Uh, Mr. Krabs, what happened to your uh, clothes? Sold them. Yes, sir. Someone with a keen eye for fashion made me an offer I couldn't refuse. But you're naked. Money, 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 money. Well, I better get out. Been on there. Day. I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh, pleasant. Thank you so much for the 35 months and for gifting those five subs. Thank you, thank you. I have a I have an idea for the for the bingo next next bingo season. It's formulating in my brain. I'm ready! Oh my god, he just rub himself. He just rubs himself all over the car. Can you guys hear that? The amazing Mr. Absorbency! Just want to make sure you guys can hear that one. Shouldn't I be like super nasty now? All done. She's all sparkly and clean. Great. You're okay. Go grab yourself some merchant chips. They're in the back aisle. Money, money, money. Oh, we could get some empty jars here. Got some tuna, some seaweed bars, some bongs, all kinds of stuff here. Can I just leave? Welcome to the bargain mart. Wow, working at the bargain mart must be so much fun. Yeah, it's a hoot. 
I can't think of anything else I'd rather be doing. And I mean that, really. I can imagine. I work at the Krusty Krab myself, and I can't wait to get to work every day. I can somehow sense that about you. Uh, it beats well. well. I like all the dialogue options. There's a lot. There's a lot of uh, discussions to be had here. I'm glossing over some of them so we can maybe get somewhere. Hi, Grandma. I'm back. Seeing you always makes me smile, Patty Wagon. I got the urchin chips. That's wonderful, Patty Poo. <laughs> this pie is so plain without them. Oh, do I have to put... Oh, I see. I see. Gotcha. Patty Poo. Okay, and now... Pie goes to Larry. Yeah, her sponge bones crack. Ma that's what that's what my knees sound like every time I stand up to go to the bingo board. Hi, Larry. You look even bigger than the last time we talked. Whoa. Muscle mass never ends, little guy. To do that. Oh. Hi, Larry. My cra No crap. Nah, the only thing I really meant. Well, I. Bye. Oh, oh. Look, Larry. Mm. Urchin chip pie. I can't eat that. I'm not allowed. My trainer would get mad. Mm, there's nothing like Grandma's homemade pie. Still warm from the oven. I'm on a diet. I can't eat that. Uh, um, okay, let me have it. Oh my god, dude. Look at what you've done to me. I've got love handles. I can't talk to you. I've got to take a jog down the beach. Oh my god, he's going to jog with the weights. <laughs> Okay. I'm assuming I use this on the beach somewhere? Oh my god. Hi, lady! Well, hello, laddie. Why are you standing in the shade? It's a beautiful sunny day. Well, I have sensitive skin. It's very delicate, but it is a beautiful day indeed. Wow, you sure do talk funny. Where are you from? I'm from the English Channel. It's a beautiful place. You'd like it, I'm quite sure. The water is much warmer here in the Pacific, but you know what they say. It's not the heat that gets you, it's the salinity. Yeah, <laughs> so what brings you to Bikini Bottom? <laughs> the beautiful beaches, the charming townsfolk, and the legends of buried pirate treasure. I find it all so quaint, but oh, the heat is overwhelming. Uh huh. She must have caught a, glint, a glimpse of uh, Larry. Did you say fairy treasure? What fairy treasure? Why, the Flying Dutchman's buried treasure, of course. Legend has it the Flying Dutchman buried his most precious treasure on the shores of Goo Lagoon. I suspect it's somewhere along this very beach. She sounds like she's in a high or a hallway, like <laughs> very far down on the other side of the hallway. Where did you say that buried treasure was again? From what I've been told. Well, I okay. indeed. Indeed. Hey, this isn't a tanning salon. It's a beach. Right back at you. Wow, you sure are tan. Yes, I certainly am. Okay. What else would you expect? Is he? 
I own the salon. I must set a good example for all my peach brothers and sisters. Salon? What salon? Isn't this a beach? I love the sandcastle no. radio. Well, uh, yeah, but it's more than just a beach. It's a holistic and organic tanning experience, man. We don't just tan your skin, we tan your soul. Oh, I'm not so sure I want my soul tanned. Just looking at you, I can tell you really need to get your soul out into the sun more often. It's very pale and spotty. I think it's breaking out in a rash, man. Oh, my soul has a rash? Yeah. It's all icky. Gross, man. Really gross. Back off, dude. Can I borrow your sunscreen? I don't think it's working for you. That's because I don't use it anymore. I have reached the limit of natural tanning, the so-called Hamilton Horizon. I don't need to block any of the sun's rays. If anything, I need to amplify them. Amplify the sun? Die. Why don't you just cover yourself in cooking oil? Say, that's not a bad idea. You think you could get me some? I'll trade you the sunscreen for it. Deal. Oh well, I'll leave you to your frying. Okay. Thanks, dude. Later. Okay, so we gotta get oil for him to rub on himself. <clears throat> so we can catch more rays. <laughs> I'm assuming we do that at the Krusty Krab. I don't remember the goo bubbling. This door seems to be locked. It's locked. It does bubble. I honestly, I have not watched SpongeBob in so long. I, every time I try to rewatch SpongeBob, because I mean, I used to love it. I feel like I've, I just, I watched too much of it as a kid. I. I see episode one and I'm like, I, I, I can't watch this. I know it. I know it too well. I need to rewatch it. It's I. I mean, I'm explaining why I. I can't. Mustard mayo, mustard ketchup. It's just like I see part of episode one and I feel like I immediately watch the entire show up to up to the movie. The name says it all. Green mm. stuff in oh. here. Well, guys. This is going to be the end of Season 1 of Bingo XP. Did it all go as planned? Not exactly. But it never does. Uh, we will be, be, be back with another season uh, after we finish Lost, which hopefully shouldn't uh, shouldn't take more than a, a stream or two. Game is so good. Remember this one. I mean, maybe we could add it as an option for a full playthrough. Uh, but the plan is to play Lost... Do a leftover stream and then get back in for another season of Bingo XP. Yeah, I wish it lasted longer too, but I also don't think I was doing like six hour. What's, how long were the uh, Bingo 98 episodes? I feel like I wasn't doing this long of streams, so maybe I should uh, do like a double uh, two line next season. I'm checking to see how long all the episodes were. Season three, let's see what the longest. Four hours, three hours, four and a half, four and a half. Yeah, I didn't go over four and a half in season three. <laughs> Mini music is from Windows, uh, various Windows versions. These are all uh, songs that were, MIDI songs that were included in Windows. It's like a full work day. I must be hungry. I'm not really hungry. No. Well, I, well I'm, I might be. I might be. I'm a little tired. And may, maybe that's uh, 
being hungry. But thank you guys for joining me on this season. I worked, I worked very hard on it. We didn't get to see everything, uh, but that just means there's more to discover in season two. I will, uh, in between this season and next season, I will uh, look at maybe changing up the cards, the the main cards. I'll re I'll rethink the number distribution. Uh, but it won't be it won't be nearly as long as a gap as last time. Last time it was uh, five or six months between bingos. But as I said uh, in episode one, I'm set up for it to last and uh, be able to do more seasons more quickly. What's that? What's that? Radio Rave Games. Thank you very much for the Prime sub. For season two, I should shrink myself down to fit in the lounge. Maybe I will. I'm trying to get her to say something. No. <laughs> She's not interested. She's not interested in talking. Uh, but thank you guys so much for... Uh, for watching. Season 2 was only 3 eps. Yeah. It, you never know. It's unpredictable because the bingo. Sometimes we'll have a season where it ends in like 4 pulls. I'm sure it's going to happen at some point. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, bingo be, will be a, a continuing series going forward, at least for the time being. So if you enjoyed it, uh, be sure to follow and, uh, and whatever because we'll be back. And I will see you guys on Friday for Lost. We'll start Lost and just see how it goes. Maybe finish it up on Monday. And if we get far enough on Friday and finish up on Monday, maybe Monday could also be the... Uh, uh, what was I going to say? It was. It could also be the leftover stream. We'll just have to see. I definitely want to get back into bingo as fast as we can because I didn't get to do everything I wanted to do. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for all the support. I will see you guys on Friday. Hope you guys uh, have a good one. We'll have more, more sub drops, more prizes next time. All right. See you Friday, everybody. Bye, bye, bye. And now, folks, it's time to say goodnight. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.